making a massive mess. They just they just frame it because you're talking about um, a, 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 a watery scene. They're going to frame it, and this is the fallen leaves again, which is the um, brown one. So we can have have them coming up. And you've even got kind of like little fuzzy bits around the edge, just like you'd have the with the bulrushes. Yeah, yeah. It's the detail that a fairy hogs go to is phenomenal. It, it is. It really is. They don't, you know, they don't, they don't do it, anything half half well, no, way, do, do they? Well, no, because it's a silhouette. All they really have to do is just do a shadow, do not it? Just a, a bit of an outline. But they go to town with the detail, with the wings and the hair. The little flicks of the hair and the little the little bits that are slightly out of place with the She's got bobbles in her hair as well, this one. And she's got the, the little bit on the dress there. You know that little kind of skirt there? The little skirt that pushes out yeah. from like the waist yeah. like a little, before it goes down to her legs. It is beautiful. And the, the leaves on the boat that you've got there with the, uh, the daisies or sunflowers uh, that are on them are phenomenal as well. So I'm not going to do anything else with this one because you can see where I was going. I'd, I'd add some to the, the some blue to the sky and I'd colour in all these little bits and I'd probably put some glaze and some glitter on here. Me, you look, just so we can get the colour. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So you see where we're going. Yeah, see where we're going. And I'll, but but now, now I know the glitter's there. We're going to do something else. No, we're we moving on. We're bored of that one. <laughs> okay, You're not moving on. on. You see where I'm going. No, I can, I can finish it, but you can, I'll yeah. show this one, look. Yeah. I'll show this one, look. That's where, oh, that's where we're heading for. Yeah. You go to do it, then you put the colour in on the bows and fairings. That's the yeah. skirt we were talking about there yeah. as well. Uh, it is beautiful. Uh, do you need time to reset? Um, just give me a couple of I'll minutes. I'll give you a couple of minutes. I'll do, I'll, I'll do what I get paid for. I'll do that. <laughs> uh, right then. Uh, what we uh, so, uh, first, uh, the first one we're looking at at the moment is your swing and your fairy. That's a Tiana and the fairy swing. Nearly 60% of the stock has already gone. Uh, the beautiful swing that you've got on there, I absolutely adore. But you can see from that sample, you've got the wall and you've got the stairs, you've got the bulrushes on there. You've got the tree that's on there as well. Have you seen in the tree? They're the leaves from the one we saw earlier. So it all works together to make that beautiful tree. That's how you're getting the foliage of the tree in there. Everything works. Just because they're on their own, don't see them as they're on their own. They all work beautiful. Uh, you could use the vines from there as well. Though. You could use those for loads of different things. £14.99 for 253270 is your item number. Uh, look at that. Oh, magical. Magical. Look at that. Love it. Uh, right then, let's move on. Uh, let's move on to the tree is what we're going to look at now. Uh, two thirds of the tree now have already gone. Um, I absolutely, I love this pack. Look, just, it's the, it, this, I think this is the raven glitter that we're about to use uh, that's on here as well. It's the end of call that we got. I absolutely adore it using that large stamp. Uh, but what are you getting in there? You're getting the tree that's in there and you're getting the two moons as well. Uh, remember the tree, it's like, it's like a beautiful tree because you sort of, you can just use the branches that are in there, use them as a whole tree, use it as a stump if you wanted to, uh, so, so much. And you also get the two moons, which I adore as well, because they look a bit like Wallace and Gromis moons. Uh, 19 pounds and made of cheese. Uh, 19 pounds and 99 pence, 817515 is your item number. Then, he takes a step to his left. Uh, the ones we just used in our demonstration, nearly 40% of the stock has already gone here. So you get that beautiful scenery that you get there. Then you get Moana and you also get the canoe as well. Uh, the canoe Moana and the stream scene. I absolutely love it. £26.99. Uh, extended delivery on this, uh, it, which is, it's coming from the USA. Uh, eight days. Not long to wait at all, to be honest, is it? Let's be fair. Uh, eight days. Uh, then up next we have the... That's uh, this one. Modelled on me. Just like that. If you're wondering what, how it works together, so she holds the stars and then blows them. Like she's blowing wishes into the air to make magical dreams come true. £12.99. pence. Uh, 584, nearly 60% has already gone. 584722 is your item number. Gnomes up next. Let me show you some samples of the gnomes. Uh, nearly 60% of the gnomes have already gone as well. Uh, using your musical uh, stamps that you've already got there, which I absolutely adore. From there, you can do cards that look like this as well. Also like this. Uh, using some of the stumps from the previous collections that we've also got. Using the music from the collection. Uh, using the stairs. Uh, and the wooden logs from the collection as well. I don't know what that gnome's actually standing on.
be honest there. Uh, right then, uh, we're very busy. Something else we're busy on are the stencils. £19.99 and pence for uh, three, four, five stencils. You can't go wrong. That's count them. Uh, £19.99, and pence, eight, eight, seven, four, four, four. Three quarters of the stock is already gone. They're going to go next. That's going to be our next sellout. We've already had one. That's going to be our next sellout as well. Uh, right then, Julia, we're coming up to you for glitters and more fun and frolics. Right, okay, okay, okay. Right, okay. So we're going to do a background. And um, we're going to just uh, use my briar. This is one of uh, Mr. M's briars. And I'm using, uh, so it's sentimentally yours briar, sorry, for those that don't know what I mean. Uh, yeah, Apple. so um, I've got chip sapphire and rustic wilderness here. I'm just going to run it on my, my mat first and then just clean it off. So we're pretending that I'm actually cleaning my briar off. So this could be in your journal and you're just cleaning it off. Okay. Clean that off a bit. So I'm just I'm just pretending that I'm cleaning my brayer. And then this is your rustic wilderness. We do the same thing with that. This will merge with the blue a bit, and then we'll clean it off onto here. So it doesn't matter that it's got a bit of a line going on, because I'm just I'm just cleaning my brayer. If you want a brayer, twenty-one pounds ninety-eight pence for two sentimentally yours. You get a four-inch and a six-inch, um, and they're both there. You've also got a lovely little video. As well, I've had Julia talking about the braids at the bottom. Oh, that's it. Mm. Get that? Right, so, and I'm also going to take some gesso. This is uh, indigo blue gesso. And I'm just going to slap a little bit of that onto my, my sheet. I haven't been bothered cleaning up. So when I run this over, I'm going to pick up green as well as the, the, the uh, gesso. And just run some of that on here as well. You can barely see it, but it's knocking it back a tiny little bit. Just in the middle, you can see it. Just going to miss that with water if I take the lid off, just so I don't ruin my brayer. And that'll sit there for a little bit. Let's clean that up as well. So that's that's kind of a bit of colour going on in the background there. Okay. Obviously, if I was Leone, I wouldn't be wasting that, but no time. No time. No time to waste. No time. Right, so now we want to stamp our. Do you want to stamp first? No, let's use a stencil first. We're going to take the. Let's see, what's Sean? Let's, let's these take. These are about uh, to go, these stencils. Yeah, so we'll use this one. So I really like this one. Chip uh, sticks. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to take our chip sapphire again. And we're just going to ink around the edges. Now, this is going to be too big for me to use, but. Um, I'll have to cut it down later. This is more of a principle of things, really. So we will use the whole thing. Pretend this isn't as big as it is. We're just framing it randomly. Be careful with, the, with this one because, uh, as you can see, because I'm using my um, blending tool, it snags it a little tiny bit. Just, just be very careful with it. Okay. So there's a, a background going on. Nice though. Tap on my gesso. And then we're going to do some stamping. Good, it fits. That's a relief. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to take... Uh, See, I'm not very good with paint yet. I'm getting there, but I don't use a lot of paint. So when I did mine originally, I got paint on it, and, it, and it's harder to stamp. It's easier to stamp on ink than it is on to paint. What scares you about paint? Um, I don't know enough about it, and I've not spent enough time working with it. Okay. Um, I want to. I've got some. Lou's given me some. I've got indigo, loads of indigo blue paints. Um, I just need to... It's time to play. Play, yeah, because it's not my... Um, my kind of starting point, my starting point was inks, so um, that's why I'm just a little bit behind, that's all with it. So we're going to stamp this with, uh, yeah, let's go for the black. This is your nocturne, and this is your moon tree with that lovely um, aperture in it. Really gnarly tree, it looks like it's kind of seen a lot of... Um, you know, changes, you know, 
in... Oh, it looks like it knows a lot of, uh, it knows a lot of secrets. It does, yeah, yeah, yeah. A it's wise around, old tree. Yeah, it's a wise old tree. It knows, it knows the good, the bad and the ugly. Yeah, true. yeah. So, this isn't a silhouette, so I'm hoping that this goes really well. First inking. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, if you want it darker, just go again. Then we're going to take get rid of that. Be careful with this because, I mean, you won't tear it. They're really tough stamps. They're really beautifully made. But just be careful because you've got that hole in the middle. You know, one good thing I ought to say, actually, when you've got a stamp that's got a hole in the middle, quite a lot of the time they could distort. But this one, this one doesn't. This one keeps its shape. You know, because sometimes if there's a hole, they'll, they'll, you know, you won't, they won't sit properly, but that one does really well. So we're going to just take the smallest of the moons because that fits perfectly inside. Don't make, ask me if there's a right or wrong way up because I don't know. We're going to pop it inside there and we're going to stamp that. We're just going to stamp that in black as well. We're using Versify Claire. We've got the show tomorrow with Paula, 7 o'clock in the morning. I think we've got 7 and 1 tomorrow. £19 and 99 pence. You get Versify and Claire, you get Brilliant, you get Stays on, and you also get Phil Martin's favourite, Memento, I found out the other day. Yeah, uh, Memento's great for your alcohol markers. He loves his mementos at the moment. Uh, you know, he's got three favourite colours. I think it's the brown, the grey, and also this black as well. Uh, so if you want to get ahead of the curve for tomorrow morning, I think there's loads of inks on tomorrow's show. Um, the details are there for you. Yeah. I don't know if it's Mill Paula presenting tomorrow, I'm unsure. What, she's presenting herself? Well, Is I don't know because it's Pally seen its inks and I don't know if they let me present. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Okay. So there, there's <laughs> our kind of background going on. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're all right. Okay. You've got about 15 minutes, Jimmy's telling me. Right, okay. So let's grab our gnomes. Oh, I love the gnomes. I love the gnomes. They're my favourite. I, I, everybody needs a gnome in their life, don't they, really? I do. I've got Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> if Jimmy's not available, I'll go back to Derek. Bless him. <laughs> so, in the gnomes, we've got... They're really strange names. We've got um, Bill Wynn. Bill Wynn. Bill Wynn. We've got... We're on a pub in Ireland, I used to drink <laughs> We've got Will Wynn. He's the brother. Please, please be called Stan next. No. Then we've got Corwin. Corwin, Bill Wynn. So we, we, you can stamp, I mean, you could stamp just all three in a strip like this, and then that could be a card. Matt it and layer it, that's, that's a really happy card. This would make cracking little wrapping paper as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm really, into really I'm into happy this at card. the moment. Literally, I'm really into this wrapping paper stamping. I've never tried it before. It might go horribly wrong. Making your own wrapping paper is really cool. Have you got, is it, have you got brown paper? I'm doing brown paper. Yeah. I've got um, Christmas gnomes. I've got my inks with the helps of uh, Mama Makes. Uh, they help me out with my inks. So I bought some inks from them. They told me where to go and what to do. Uh, I've also got my, um, I've got my little stamp, so I'm all ready to go. I've just got to find some brown paper now, but I don't know what brown paper to use. You can get some normally from the post office, or if you just, I'll, I'll tell you where you can get some brown okay. paper from. Okay, so, so we're just stamping them in black, and they, they've got, they, the detail is cut out of the silhouette. I'm going to go again because I want it darker, okay? But I've done loads of these. Do make sure if you want to cut them out that the Versafine Claire is, is dry because the Versafine Claire has a large open time, very oh, okay. much larger open time than its uh, original Versafine. Uh, so you can think it's dry, and if you stick your fingers over it, you get black fingers because you're, you know, transferring the ink. So just be careful. I put mine over the radiator and it dries at this time of year. So there's my gnomes. And I cut them out. So I've got them here. My happy gnomes. These are cool. These are cool. Let me just show you that something. Is, they're all quite impressed with your fussy cutting of these gnomes. That is amazing with the white I did, I did, I did it while I was watching Leone doing the uh, Weekend Wow. No, let me get. Let me just get the back of this pic. Uh, no, piece of white card here. Let me just give you a few ideas of scenes. That's, good. That's a nice little border you've got around them as well. It's very clever. Got that? No, the border you've done around your fussy cutting. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I can't cut on the line because I cut things off. Right. So look, here's here's your wooden walkway. Right. So pretend I've stamped that. Yeah. So we can take our our, our kind of gnomes, and they can be playing. Top and bottom, maybe, and one half way, and that oh. could be a card. That's Couldn't it? Yeah, it could be. Couldn't it? Okay? Cool. So that, that's our walkway. That's that one. 
then we've got our steps. This this might get a bit boring, but I can't help it because no, I really cool. I really like I doing it. this. It'd be, so, nice look, it'd be a nice um oh, what's the what, aperture card as well. Yeah, yeah. So again, we've got this. So he could be stood at the top doing his, his what's it and these two are at the bottom come down come down stop messing about we've got to go and do a gig somewhere and he's still <laughs> up there you know playing about well they've got a story haven't they? they're known they, all, yeah, they, they have, have to have a story behind them story, yeah yeah flute. they're really cool really cool really cool so that that's that one. lord of the dance i feel they're playing yeah yeah so then we've got the wall as well so the wall, wall, so obviously they can be sat on top of the wall, can't they? He's always on top, that one. And these are always well, at the bottom saying, come down. And now this one's joined him as well. And this one's, this one's like um, following his leader. And this one's getting really annoyed because they're both messing about now. <laughs> just looking up at them going, come on, you pair, I had enough but now. The, you it's know, raining, it's suddenly. Just in black and white, you don't need any colour you at don't. all. They, they are absolutely tremendous, tremendous. And, and then ready, you, as you say, they're ready made cards. You cut your card down to fit that walls and they're ready-made cards ready-made cards and look here's Lovely the walkway i love the walkway because the walkway you can just sit, sit all three of them on top and that and that's a card or you can or you can have one down the bottom and again these two are up there playing mischief Love it. They're, they're tremendous everybody's got to have a gnome in their life and these gnomes are absolutely tremendous so let's go back to the card that we were making obviously i've got to cut this down and i haven't because I, I, I should have cut it down. So we would have that at the top, and my idea is that we're going to have the gnomes down here, oh. okay? Playing around the bottom of the tree, because they can. But I thought we'd actually use the glitter in the top a little bit. So we're going to take... Unfortunately, this won't dry, but what we're going to do is we're going to just... Let's just clean this up, because otherwise I'll get blue where I don't want it. Your glitter's on the end of call. If you want the glitter, it's all on the end of call. What is the end of call? This is the bit where the call centre go, oh, by the way, before I say goodbye, would you like the glitter for seven ninety nine? Would you like the bulrushy stamp for five ninety nine? Or would you like the wildflower stamp for seven ninety nine? It's free delivery, madam. Would you like it? You go, oh, go on, pop all three in. I'm still watching the time. No, okay. you've got ages. You've got ten minutes. Okay, right, that's fine. I'll give you a five-minute time check if okay. that's easier. Okay, so we've got my slap it on. I can't even give it to you when I can't open it, can I? But oh, I, I am I am in it. I am in it. It's because I don't clean the top properly. Um, so a little bit of slap it on. So this is like uh, heavy body gel, if you like. So uh, it's going to dry clear. Don't need very much because it's that'd be far too much. Um, it's it, it's going to dry clear. Now I'm going to do it with the with the darker one. I don't know what it's called. There's no uh, name Raven. on mine. Raven. Now I when I want to say it's Raven and. We'll have a look. Right, when, when you're using Slap It On or any hot, heavy body gel that you're going to use as a texture paste, you need to remember that it's going to dry clear. So where the glitter isn't, you're going to get clear. Okay. So you need to use a fair amount. Okay. Looks like a lot, but there's a heck of a lot in there anyway. And all we're going to do is just add some of these fine stars across the top here because it's like a swoosh of stars. Love a swoosh of stars. Yeah. I think that's a technical name. And look, look how much I haven't used. Loads. There's loads, loads. So that will go swooshing along the top and that will dry and that will dry black. Let me just put that over there a second. I'm trying to clear up as I'm going and I'm failing miserably here. I can't even help you. I feel everything. I know, I know. It's awful, isn't it? Roll on when we're all normal. So, so, like I say, these would be down here, playing around the base of the tree, and then we've got that drying now. And then we'd mat it onto black, and I probably would clean, uh, uh, paint the tree in. But if we look at uh, uh, samples that I've done with the uh, glitter, these are dry... Oh, in fact, I've got... Oh, why didn't I use the one that I cut down? Because you're a plonker, Julia, that's why. Right, look, this is the glitters. So this is the same. Slap it on through the uh, star stencil. Wow. Now, that's that raven one, which is just a glittery black. But look at the white one. That's beautiful. That's that one. Oh, because it's got one, Yeah, it's got an iridescence in it. Oh, it's like a, a purpley colour. To the naked eye, it's like purple. OK? Wow. And then on white card, the two of them are like this. So you can't see an awful lot of that, the white one, 
at the top. Can't see an awful lot of that, can you? That's the one that is the purpley colour. And, and, and like this one here is, is what I've just put on my card. Okay? But if you, you can put them onto coloured cardstock. So the, these are all um, some of Phil's card. And these are all with this white one. So just double-sided adhesive and then die cut. I'll give it a wiggle. So that's, that's on, uh, I think that's electric blue. It's just about purpley, yeah. And then this is this is to the naked eye. It's got purple on it more. There we go. Yeah, that has the edge. Yeah. So that's again. It's the same colour. It's this white. So on die cuts, it's fantastic. Look at that. That's on the deep plum. Nice. So it, it has a different personality depending on what colour card nice you put it mean. on. So and you get you get an awful lot in your pot. Um, like I say, my, mine doesn't say what colour it is, but. Um, those you've are got they. pixie dust and raven in there. Yeah, the pixie dust, dust is definitely the, the whiter one. The whiter one, one and the raven yeah. is your black one? Yeah, yeah. Is that it? Are you, uh, have, you all, have you all turned? Uh, oh, I'm done on that, yes, because okay. I, can't, I can't do any more on there. Now it's white. No, it's wet. <laughs> uh, we can't Sorry. tilt the card forward because the gnomes will fall off. Jim, no, they won't. They won't fall. I can tip this, tip this forward if you yeah. like because it's fine on the gnomes. But, but, like, the, but the texture paste isn't dry yet, oh, you see, because that. that's going to dry clear and, and black. And like I say, I would colour these in. That looks beautiful. Do a bit of brown on that tree, give it a bit of shade. Yeah, a bit of brown. Underneath. Yeah. You're good to go with yeah. that. You've got, you've got the original card just in front of you there. Oh, this one? That's it. That's, that's what I was heading for, yeah. Here we go. Look, this is what we're, this is what we're aiming for. How beautiful is that? Yeah, just put... I, I've used Leone stickers all over the place because they really fit. You can see on that. Just there is your swoosh of stars and the pixie but, dust. But on that, yes, on that one, I've used the um, the, the clear one, the one with the iridescence in it. Look that forward, look, you can just see them just there. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful across the board is what we're looking at right then. We are busy, busy, busy uh, for this time of night. So your fairy swing and Tiana is what we're looking at. 253270 is your item number. £14.99 and pence is what you are looking at for this as well. There's your swing and also there is Tiana that you've got there. And then you are going to get beautiful finished samples that look a little bit like this. You go from that to this. You go from this to this. You also then can use them... Uh, what we, oh, well, oh, that's the moon, that's the tree. What's going on here? Yeah. Uh, you can go for this. Uh, you can also go then to this. It's my own mess. Then this into the... I think these are absolutely uh, beautiful. Let's see how many samples we can show in the last five minutes of the hour. Uh, let's see if we can get through all of them, just so you can see uh, what you can actually do and get some inspiration. Uh, that's already on here. Uh, absolutely beautiful. There's some of the gnomes, not in this collection. Um, then, uh, I'll show you them in a minute. Uh, very busy, £14.99, 253270 is your item number. Uh, the moon tree is what we're looking at next. So this time you are getting uh, the tree and you're also getting the moon in there. Right, then let's see if we're better any this time. Uh, so this time you're getting things uh, where you can do this. I think that is absolutely stunning. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, then when you can make cards also like this as well, uh, you're moving, wait, come on, uh, uh, then you can move into things like this, using your trees uh, on their own. You can do things that look a little bit like that. Using that tree and go slightly autumnal with it if you wanted to. Uh, using the moons in the way the moons were meant to be intended. The full moon, this card is called. Uh, then you've got that beautiful tree behind the wall using the moon on its own. That's not, I love that. Uh, to the moon and back. Uh, but then you've also got Julia's card uh, that she made for us in her last demo as well. How, what am I doing with that one again? <laughs> then you've got this one as well. They're all these, these lakes. Uh, then you've got the trees that are here as well. Absolutely beautiful what you can do. Uh, your sitting angels in there. And then you've also got your brick walls as well and your raven. Uh, right then, let's look at Moana. Uh, love Moana. It's a beautiful design. Right then, let's see if these in the right order. This is koa uh, koala. This is your koala Moana in your canoe. And it's also your scene in there. So you've seen this about four times, this card. 
<laughs> you've got this one for the right set this time as well. Uh, then you've got things like this, using the raven glitter on your paddleboard that you've got there. It's like a little chopping board. Uh, then uh, you've also got the scenery. That is beautiful. Look at that for a scenescape uh, that you've got on there. Uh, cutting into it using your circles, you can do things like this. So you can go, you can go quite rustic and black and white if you wanted to, using the Angel of the North uh, that you've also got in there. Uh, bon Voyage! A little Bon Voyage card going off in a canoe to Pastures New. Uh, then, I don't actually know how they've done that. I don't know if that's the... Oh, it's the canoe and the fairy. That's what they've done. I quite like that with the watery fall. I thought, how have they done a waterfall? Uh, then you've got the beautiful fairy uh, just sitting there if you wanted to. Uh, using them for little tags. We've not even spoke about the little tags and the little boats that you've got in there. Using Moana on her own and so on and so forth. Uh, then... Uh, the Kissing Fairy is what we're talking about next. Oh, this is... Oh, Lord. Uh, so then, you can do things that look like this. From this, you can move to... I'm just trying to show you samples, show you inspiration. The details are on the side of the screen. You don't need me to read those out. Uh, for those people that you may have already bought them, uh, let me give you some inspiration on what you can do with them as well. They are absolutely uh, beautiful. Make a wish. £12.99, 584722 is your item number. Then we move on to your little gnomes. I love that. What's that, sorry? Oh, it's the busiest item on the show this evening. These are the little gnomes. You're loving the little musical gnomes. Let's look at your musical gnomes. Uh, there you are, look. You've got the clarinet, you've got the violin or the viola, and then you've also got the sax, and we all love a bit of sax on Sunday evening. Do, 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 do. Uh, then, let me show you gnomes that you've got there. Uh, so these are what you can achieve when you get your gnomes home. We all love, we all love a gnome. Look at these. We've got a minute left of the show. Can I find any more in uh, random piles of samples that I've messed up here? Uh, they are absolutely beautiful. Uh, these are beautiful. There are so much you can achieve when you get these home as well. Uh, do at least have a little look up and go and follow the pages. Uh, the stone wall that we've got on the show as well. Uh, you get the stone wall, you get the steps, and you also get like the sleeper logs uh, that we've got in there, uh, which is absolutely stunning. Uh, have a little look at these. Look at that. Encompasses everything that you need. The wall, the steps, the swing. Stairway to heaven. Love it. Uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, then you can also do this <laughs> with the frog. Just because you can. Uh, then we've got the stencils are busy as well. Check out your stencils. Check out your baskets. 19 pounds, 99 pence, 887444. Um, Oh, well, we haven't got 15 seconds left. Uh, thank you, Julia. It's been an absolute pleasure. Um, I will let you, uh, well, I'll let you tidy up, to be honest. Uh, don't you go anywhere. I will see you bright and breezy tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, when it will all be about inks. Thank you, Julia, again. It's an absolute pleasure being with you for this hour. Don't you go anywhere. Sentimentally yours, one day special. Then the coffee bean coffee machine. You do not want to miss this at nine o'clock uh, with our Janet. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work. And at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration.
Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Echander shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on Echander. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hachanda. Good evening everyone, it's your one day special second live hour, but the third live hour in a row for our fabulous Julia Watts. Yes, running a marathon of shows and it's always lovely to have your company. How are you doing Julia? I'm alright. How are you holding up I'm while right. sitting down? I'm getting a bit hungry. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> oh, bless you. Do you know what? It's lovely to have you here at Hochanda. You are very, very inspirational. Thank you. It's, it's great to be here. Yeah, and, and it's wonderful to work with you because you're always coming up with new ideas, and new ways, and also taking us down memory lane, perhaps to some old ways of stamping mm. and just reinventing the way that you, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just <laughs> so excited to be working with you. That's all right. I'm happy to be with you again. Oh, do you know what? We were so busy for the one day special earlier on. Is there any hundreds. Left? Well, there is some left, yes, but hundreds upon hundreds of you managed to get hold of the deal. Literally, it was that busy. Right, if you have just joined us, let's talk you through what you're getting so you can pop it into your basket. We had people multi buying because, let's face it, this is going to make a great gift for any Christmas present. So. Saving five pounds on that one day special price. 19 pounds and 98 pence. Let's start with the magazine. Oh my goodness. This is the fourth edition. It's a box set. So it comes to you perfectly boxed. So it's a great way of sending this gift in the post if you need to. But with the magazine, you have so much inspiration in there. It's a 68 page magazine. You've got your 39 piece stamp set, your five piece die set, your A6 background sentiment stamp 
stamp as well. You also get 30 paper designs within your magazine, your firework scene embossing folder, and 47 coordinating toppers. Along with that, you get a stamp. Let me just take that. Sorry about that. There you go. I know you probably got that on a close-up, but I've just gone straight in and picked it up for you. Um, those are your stamps, but you're also getting uh, that fabulous stamp set, which is exclusive to you guys here at Hochanda. You can't buy it anywhere else. It's not the one we're looking at at the moment, but we will be looking at that one in a second. So there is a special stamp set that you can only get if you're buying the one-day special from us here at Hochanda. You will not be able to buy that anywhere else. It will not be available to anyone else designed by Phil Martin and over 50% over 60% of the stock has gone it's an amazing deal it really really is um, Julia full of inspiration the magazine I know yeah. you love it and it is a fabulous way to sit down and craft but to get all of the extras as well within that box set it's amazing isn't it it's tremendous value it really is and I know we say that every single time we bring out a box kit because they are all the box kits of tremendous yeah. value. Um, I mean, the, the the stamp alone is worth the, the exclusive stamp is worth eleven ninety nine. Yeah, it is. I'm just trying to find where we've got the. So we, uh, I mean, we've got what have we? It, it's. Uh, I can't even add up to. So you're only paying. You're paying just less than eight pounds for the magazine with all the bits in it my word aren't you that's well, what you're paying did you know it's superb value for money and when you see that it comes boxed up you can send this very very easily in the post yeah um, it's a wrappable gift it's a giftable gift as well and it can be a, a collect well it is it's a collector's item and people, people do, do collect them they absolutely yeah. do and, and they and they have more than one yeah you've got the stamp right there would you mind uh -huh. showing everyone at home the stamp that you are getting i just want everyone at yeah. home to see the stamp it's just at the what side of julia um, yes you can show it as stamped out this is exclusive to you guys here at hochanda we won't be able to get that anywhere else will no, we you can't get this anywhere else are we, on, are we doing the overhead then <laughs> <laughs> so there we go there's there's wiggle it uh, he's coming in it's beautiful so, isn't it so this is stamped in oxide oh let's have it is it in focus yet? There we go. So that's stamped in oxides, which, which you know, is never going to be 100% crisp. But it's, it, because it reduced oxides, it kind of fits in with this. I mean, Phil, when he was drawing these, um, this and the other two that are on the set, he showed me these. And he said, this is the one that's going to go with the box kit because it, it fits. Yeah, it, it certainly does. It fits with the fireworks and the celebratory kind of theme to yeah. it. It is absolutely stunning. Julia, I know we've got some demonstrations coming up, but yes. can we have a quick flick through flick. the magazine? I we think can it's a lot a... better when you do it uh, with your overhead camera. Yeah, we can have a flick rooney Right, so. We'll and actually, this. I've just noticed something on the front there. There's a chance for you to win £400 with a competition. There is, Ooh. yes, there is. I'm not sure what page that's on. but um, Well, yes. we, don't want to, we don't want to give everything away, do no, we? No, we don't. Otherwise, nobody will be buying the magazine. You'll just be having a look at it on the TV. But we're going to give you a taster but of what you get. To be fair, with all, like I was saying earlier in the previous hour, I know this might be your first hour, um, all the inspiration that's in here you'll be able to use forever so all of your different sizes of things and your um you know your shaped cards and all your scores and whatever these are in here to keep forever which is what i think people I love keep that. them for yeah so obviously you've got your kind of hello we've got some of our new products that we've got here this we're going to start, start a campaign get karen on the telly that's 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 phil's sister there karen oh do you know something i have never seen a picture of phil's sister wow yeah yeah, yeah. She looks so much, yes we need we we need to get her we on need to get karen definitely, on the telly definitely <laughs> let's start that campaign let's start it right now <laughs> email in studio at her so we've got uh, inspiration in here by uh, some of the design team from uh sensibility yours and also from the um uh, practical publishing uh, design team. So this is uh, from Le Lozzie, who's on Phil's design team, and this is the sample that we've got here. Uh, so Lozzie's used one of the background papers here, and um, this is a little bit shiny, this paper, because they had like a prototype, 
yours won't be so yours can take the ink better than the ones that uh, the design team had but she's used here on the background time to celebrate on your birthday which is from the big a4 stamp yes. set and she's used some of the little tiny stamps on there as well and also on the frame so that that's that one and you've got what you'll need which is quite a long list on this one lozzy and all the step by step on how to do it um, so it, it's uh, they're absolutely great to refer to we won't look at that um then we've got one here. This oh, is by nice Laura part. Williams. This uh, She's on the practical uh, design team. And this is this card here. So you can see it's, it's fairly simple. She's got uh, the background papers. This is one of the sentiments that you've got from the set. And she's got that Happy New Year that I used in the previous uh, hour. And again, the dies are here. And that's one of the embellishments. And it's just a little tiny card. Uh, but everything you need to know is on that one there. Then uh, we showed that one in the previous hour. Let's Can we have a look at the papers that are in the papers. The yeah. Yes, they're further um, down. Because here. this is another addition to your magazine, you've got the papers already in there, mm. so you can take them out. You'd be able to take them out very, very easily, whether you cut them with yeah. a craft knife or a pair of scissors, or you pull them out from the staples. There's a big wad. I mean, look at this wad. The papers. That is a lot, isn't that? I that, think paper-wise, there's 30 sheets, 30 paper designs. Yeah, but that's probably plus the two embellishment sheets, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Because it has to be yeah, a, an even number divisible by four. Yeah, 30 paper designs. You've also got your 47 coordinating toppers. Yeah, that's these. Okay, so we'll quickly go through these. So they're all um, double-sided, and as I said, these aren't coated, so they're going to take your ink. I think that was a request that came from uh, Phil and Karen, that they wanted to have it uncoated, because uh, it's harder to work with a coated card. So there's all your clocks, and that co they coordinate with uh, some of the clock stamps that you've got in your uh, A4 stamp set. That's the back of it. So that's great for using with your, say, your Celebrate stamps. We bought this one in here earlier. So that's going to look fantastic on top of that. And that is one stamp. Just that's let people stamp. know at home. Yeah. I mean, if you want to, you mask can split off it. any of that. You, you can, can, you can cut bits. it down or you can mask it if you want to. Yeah, you can do whatever, as soon as it's yours, you can do whatever you want yeah. to. But it's a great uh, background stamp. Um, then we've got so we've got two of those, and then we've got uh, the uh, dandelions here in the blue. And on the back of that, you've got this one. I think this one's tremendous. That's one of my favourite papers. That. that is gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. And again, Julia, it gives you the possibility of making. You know, I don't really like to use the term feminine and masculine cards, but in in the crafting industry, that's how we describe. There are certain um, colours that yes. you look at for a man, and certain colours that you look at for a lady. Generally, you wouldn't necessarily use that part of that paper for a, for a man. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with doing that, but yeah. generally you wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it's all down to taste, and it it's is. all down to the person that you're making the card for. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. If, if you've got a guy friend that's favourite colour is pink. That would be perfect. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So I love this tone, the aqua tone, again, with the, the dandelion feel, because remember, your stamps have got either a New Year celebratory kind of feel or they've got like a uh, an everyday feel with your dandelions. And then there's this one. It's like a lens blur, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Like but that. it's got the odd star here and there because the papers are, you know, not only just different colours. Sometimes they've got different features yeah. in the, the other side they're of them. They're very interesting, aren't they? They are very yeah. interesting, yeah. So there's two of those. This numbers one will coordinate with the lovely numbers border stamp that there is on the kit. And I love this one. I really love this one. I love the way that these colours are blurred out. Yeah. Really love that. So, so then there's that one. Then there's this one, which is very bold. Um, but get, I think this is suitable for male and female cards, this one in particular for florals. That's a real pow. Yeah. I really like that one. You've got two of those. I think that, this is my favourite box set yes, yet and from mine. Phil. Do you think? And mine, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I really <laughs> like this. The papers, all the papers are usable in here for me. Whereas sometimes when you've got something like this, you quite you look at it and you think, hmm, not sure about that one. Hmm. I don't think I'd use that one, but every paper in here I would yes, use. Yes, yeah, Everyone. absolutely. So that's the back of your um, um, seed heads. This is the one that I used in the previous hour, so I used this one to make this card in the previous hour. See how that, that translates. That is lovely. Yeah, nice deep blue. Again, that could be either, either sex. 
depending on what you use with it. That, again, is fantastic. Love that. Again, that, stamp and emboss that in, in silver or gold on there. Or even white. Or even white. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. tremendous. So it will go with all of your fireworks well, as well. I think well. That, that particular stamp that you had there with the background, really I think that is so useful so for useful. invitations for all kinds of occasions mm. because you've got a whole plethora of... Um, sentiments on yeah, there yeah yeah so this is where it changes so throughout you've had two of the same front and back this is where it changes slightly because this is where we come across the sentiment so you've got this gray theme one here and then that one there is slightly different and it's it's a brownie um latte kind of color there that you've got there so remember Ooh. that you've only got those two different that was a good Ta segue, it was wasn't yeah it? talking of lattes <laughs> and Oh, seamlessly. We've got a great <laughs> coffee shop. I've already, I've already made myself an espresso. I hate to tell you, Julia. I've already had an espresso tonight. Uh, we've got a great coffee show coming up, which, of course, coffee and crafting, tea and crafting, yes. cake and crafting. It's a way of relaxing, isn't it? It Absolutely. really is. Absolutely. Um, it's a fabulous deal. We are busy again. I knew we would be. £19.98. pence. I'm thinking Christmas, Julia. <coughs> I'm thinking a gift for somebody in your family or a friend. They are going to absolutely love this. And in particular, when they are getting the stamp that is exclusive to you here at Hochanda, you cannot get that anywhere else. What a lovely gift to give somebody, even if you keep the magazine and the other set of stamps and maybe give that away as an exclusive gift to somebody, knowing you can't get it anywhere else. Yes. But I'd keep it for myself. So would I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we would. You could tell there. <laughs> yeah, it's so reluctant there. I would be very reluctant to give that away. <laughs> <laughs> it is fabulous. Phil has done such a great job and the whole team putting this together. Look at that border. That's one of Karen's cards and that's one of the projects. Isn't in, that in, fabulous? I'm yeah. thinking ribbon as well. You know, if you've got some nice ribbon, mm -hmm. you've got the right inks yeah. to print on that ribbon. Yeah. It's going to look absolutely but sensational. But just repeat it loads of times on the background. Yeah. That would be fabulous. Uh, the dies themselves, again, just cutting those out mm -hmm. and having those in the background it could be a birthday card it could be uh, just a backdrop to a hello card or maybe a new home for example it's a happy card it is a happy card. all the stamps are happy stamps mm -hmm. all the papers are happy papers we love those um, again of course that is that's, definitely that, that's our beautiful fill. isn't it yeah um, 19 pounds and 98 pence saving five pounds five six eight nine eight one now we've got some new stamps for you as well you might want to add those to your basket uh, these are your background stamps brand new today we launched these on the earlier show these are a6 in size they are gray rubber and they're already cling mounted as well so they're already good to go you just got that protection layer that you can take off and let me show you what these are going to look like starting with with that one on no I'll start with that one because um, I've got it right here first of all in the gold doesn't that look absolutely incredible lots of detail in there um, if you're not stamping that out and embossing it let's show you what that looks like as well there you, I do like this mm, I do kind of a grungy feel in those particular colors isn't I it? I think so that's um, chip sapphire and brush corduroy yeah, I do like that. That is lovely. In fact, if you make jewellery or something like that, that would be a really nice backdrop card mm. to your piece of jewellery. Mm. Like that. Twenty-three ninety-eight. it gets you both stamp sets. Let's show you the other one. I, oh, I love this one. I'm so glad these are coming as a pair. First of all, if we're stamping this in two colours, love that. I thought it was musical notes at the start. It's mm. like a circuit board, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, and then that... Doesn't that look beautiful? Love that. 2398037427 is your item number. It also reminds us of, uh, you know, when you get those um, music boxes or like one of those little pianos that you wind up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know what you mean. It's yeah. like the barrel that runs round. Yes. And then you see all of those. It would be, if it was like that, it'd be like that. Ding, 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 just joined us do excuse me uh, right let's have a look at the um, brush pens that we've got available for you always busy when we have these uh, and they're great because they close up as well so you can keep them enclosed you can keep them safe we have got in true dating style set number three and set number four let's start off with set number three you've got 24 brush pens and you get 
two water brushes in there so you're good to go you can take this with you now you can use the brush pens as they are or you can extend them with your water brushes is that's that so? correct yes mm. they will they will blend with each other and then they will blend with water as well now that's set number three one seven oh four two zero is your item number set number four is at the bottom and there we have the card with all the colors on am i right in saying that no two colors are the same julia you are absolutely 100 percent right two show you that because the proof is in the pudding every time those are the two colors together no two colors are the same so if you did want to go for both of these sets you are getting a whole variety of colors 29 pounds and 99 pence 127 479 is your item number we've got lots on the website for you have a look at the website We've got glue, we've got embossing powders on there, we've got dyes as well, we've got water brushes, we've also got something uh, new today and that is those wonderful porcelain white and plum pudding and aqua spray, those beautiful embellishments, flat bottomed mm. embellishments. Mm. A bit like me really. I wasn't going to say. <laughs> I wasn't going to say. You are my own little flat bottomed embellishment, Julia. <laughs> That was Julia said that, not me. Um, so have a look on the website, have a look at all the other deals that we've got available for you. And you do know with Sentimentally Yours, with Phil Martin, it is top quality because Phil uses all of these products himself. And we know Phil, he likes quality. He's a crafter and he knows what you like as well. And he wants to deliver that time and time again. And that's exactly what he does. If you want to go for your one day special, get it into your basket, check on out. Then you can relax and watch the demonstrations coming up in the show. So, Julia, what are we going to have a look at first? Okay, we're going to make a very, very simple card uh, with one of the papers and some of the stamps. Um, so um, I should mention we've got the rounded corner squares on the show. Now these were in a one day special back in, I want to say September, I think it was September. And uh, we sold out and Phil wasn't going to order any more than he found he needed to. So that's why we've got some. Yep. Uh, but they won't be around for very much longer. So if you missed out... It's your opportunity to buy the rounded corner squares on their own. Okay, and those are the details on your screen, £35.99. Um, they are fabulous, they really are. And you've got all of those different sizes in there as well to use a 14 dies in total, 231192. And they've got the, um, the signature double D boss on them. Uh, so I've cut two of them out, pure white card, and done that thing that I tend to do and scored one centimetre in from the back on one of them, and that's going to make my card blank, my shaped card blank. Then uh, we've got a black mat, which is the next size down, and then we've got a piece of paper that I've cut from the... Um, Paper, uh, papers in the uh, magazine. Sorry if my words are failing me, but I've got a good excuse. And what's that, Julia? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> and I've even got myself notes. Look, it says, celebrate and fireworks, use oxide on background, pick raspberry and hickory smoke. Congratulations, Silver. That's, that's what Is I'm that doing. Is that your shopping list? That, 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 you, have, that, that, you have to have the supermarket that's afterwards. What I, that's what I'm doing. I don't know why I put hickory smoke down, but that's what I'm doing because that obviously I, might, I was more awake then than I am now. Hickory dickory dot. Yes. So we're going to use this new background. It's not quite, is it? Yeah, just about big enough. So I'll be able to stamp that twice and it will look tremendous. So we're going to pick raspberry first of all, which is a nice bright pink. And then we're going to add a little bit of the hickory smoke. I like to put two um, different colours on um, this background. I, I think it works really well. I say the next well. part of that nursery rhyme. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. Because it was just random. Was it? Did yeah. I say that? Well, no, you just, you just agreed with me. Did I? Because I went hickory dickory dock and you went, yes, that's right. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Did, did we did we tell you everyone Julia's done three hours in a well, row? Well, well, I don't think I was listening. You Somehow. never do. You <laughs> never, you no, that's never not true. That's not true. No, you do listen to me sometimes. I do, but obviously I wasn't listening to you then. No. Right, so we're going to stamp this on here. Give it a good old press. And obviously all we're doing is adding a bit more interest to our background. So you might not be able to see an awful lot of it. But yes, you can. Ooh. Wow, that looks amazing. That does look amazing. It does. That's rather special. 
you need this stamp in your life. Everybody needs it. I'm so lucky that um, Phil, Phil asked me to do this show because otherwise I wouldn't have that stamp. So I'm so, I'm, I'm very, very happy. Right, I'm just giving it a little bit of a miss so that I can get a better impression. And we're going to pop that in there like that. If I'd have thought about it, I'd put another piece of paper here and I would have got a border out of it, but obviously I'm not thinking properly. Tremendous. Oh, that is that. absolutely spectacular. Loving that. That looks like, now it's changed it from like a uh, refracted light to just a field of flowers. Yeah. Do you, know, do you know what I would do with that as well? What would you do with that? I'm thinking about heading towards the summer. Yeah. Because we have to think about the summer. It's yeah. going to happen next It's going to be year. good. Next it, summer's going to be good. It's going to be wonderful. Yes. You could make some placements, uh, table placements, table mats, and you could laminate them. Yeah. That would look lovely. It would. Mm. Absolutely. It's a tr honestly. Didn't quite have the impact as I thought it would have. <laughs> but uh, yes, it would look. It would look it's nice. It's a tremendous ink pad. Yes. In fact, I think what we're going to do is, um, Jack, could you bring my black versifying Claire over, please? I think I want it. I don't know if I might change my mind when he gets over here, but let's just. I'm just gonna. I've got three numbers here, or three three little squares here. Always like Mystic Meg. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing. Thank you, my darling. I'm going to do the same thing with those, and that's going to be my background for these. And I'm thinking I might stamp numbers on top. So again, just to let people know at home, this stamp will not be available anywhere else apart from here at Hochanda with the one-day special. Um, and it means... And it's going to be exclusive to you. I think it's a wonderful deal. I really do. I do. Um, and it's going to give you a beautiful design. I mean, that is gorgeous in those two different colours there. Mm. Love that. And then embossed as well. Wow. That is beautiful. Love that. It's almost like you could say like a Japanese style as well to mm. it. I'm changing my mind while I'm doing this. Are you, what are you changing your mind to? Did I do my stamp press? I know I bought it over. Did I? Did I bring my stamp press over, Jack? Um, your stamp press, you might have left it in the other set. The small one. Did I bring it over? Whilst Julia sorts herself out... What am I like? Why don't you sort yourself out, love? Because um, she's had a very, very busy day. Not only is she doing three hours in a row, she also did an hour earlier on today. We love Julia, what do we do? Now, we also love Phil Martin and the magazine deal that we've got for you. It's a one-day special, 1998. Not just for the magazine, you've got all your papers inside. Lots of inspiration, lots of hints and tips along the way. You've got 68 pages in that magazine. You've got your A4 stamp set, 39 stamps on that particular set, including, we love that number stamp. You can make and build and create your backgrounds with that, your borders with that, and use it on repeat as well. So that's your A4 stamp set with 39 stamps. That's included. Your five-piece die set, that's included in your box set as well. Your background sentiment stamp, that's included as well. You've got 30 paper designs inside the magazine that you can cut out and use. You've got your fireworks scene embossing folder, so that's a wonderful embossing folder for you. And 47 coordinating toppers, all in your box set. This is issue number four. We launched it tonight here on Hochanda. And it's your chance to get it with that exclusive stamp available to you guys, but not to anyone else. And it will never be available to anyone else, just exclusive to you on this deal. £19.98, over 60% of the stock has gone. My word, we have had a very, very busy couple of hours with the One Day Special. And we are, of course, with the lovely Julia Watts. Um, oh, what are we doing? Are, we, are you all right to go back to Julia? Yes, I'm yes. fine. Let's go back I'm to Julia. She's got a stamping platform. I've She's got my stamping go. platform. I just thought, because what I thought I was going to do was take this congratulations stamp yes. from the stamp set and just stamp that across, right? Mm -hmm. But what I might want to do instead is actually stamp that in there instead. Bear with me. I've got a plan. Have you got a plan? I've got a plan. So you're just using part of that stamp? Yeah. Okay. 
I've got I've got a cunning plan, but it's going to take me like half an hour to get this stamp off here because I haven't used this before. So. Now, do you go <laughs> stamped card or card stamp with something like that? Pardon? Do I take stamp stamped card? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Rather than card to stamp. Yes. You know, if you've got your stamp laid out, you could put your card just on but the top part. But because this is a clear stamp, yeah. you can see exactly where you're going to have it. Perfect. And because it's on the stamp press, you can have the stamp press kind of helping you guide it where you want it. Yeah. So you can see I'm taking my time, and you need to do this the first time you use all your stamps. Because they're acrylics, they do stick to the carrier sheet a lot harder than um, any so those don't take it stamp. and pull it off quickly just no gently you'll rip release. it you'll rip it it's only that first initial uh, use the rest of the time it's going to be absolutely fine yeah so when phil does it he kind of just rubs puts his finger down like that i do tend to pull a bit because i'm okay. far too impatient do we need to prime them julia um i haven't done okay i've just gone for it so not n you don't have to then no you don't have okay. to um also because i'm using the stamp press it doesn't matter so much uh, even if you're stamping and embossing you can still get away with it so what i'm thinking is it's going to be a bit of a bit of drying in between i think although it's a little bit big isn't it let me, let me think right that if that goes up to there like that you have to mask off any are you only so with this julia mm. you're just going to ink the word you want to use no okay i'll shut up <laughs> you don't have to i've just got something in my head that i want to do yeah but it might be the right thing to do okay, okay. i'm wondering if that, that worked quite nicely that is going to be in the right place. This is like guess along with Julia. Guessing with Julia. This is this is what I do at home, though. I can't. Can, can we help you, Julia? No, you tell, no, no. It's fine. It's okay. going to be absolutely fine. So, Try, what I'm told. Th what I'm thinking. I'm, don't be like that. What I'm thinking is, if I. This is what's in my brain. I'm thinking if I stamp, if I ink that up with one of the colours I've used. If I ink it up with worn lipstick and stamp it, and then dry it if I can. And then stamp an embossing silver, if I can. I don't know if you I'm lost me at the first part. Yeah, I don't. Know if, I don't know if it's going to work because. So, go on. Because I'm going to have to dry it. That's the problem. Let's just see what happens, shall we? Let's give it a go. It sounds good. It's a, I, oh, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. Okay. I, I, I won't emboss. You sure? Yeah, I know what I'll do. I'm do on emboss? It. No, we want you to. Do no, emboss. I can't emboss because okay. it'll be wet. It'll be but fine. You dry it if you emboss it. Yeah, but I've got to leave it on here, haven't I? Okay, it'll be fine. So I've, I've put picked raspberry on, or pickled raspberry as our Leone calls it. Let's see if I can move it up there. Let's have a little bit more ink on there. Okay, I've made a right mess of this now, so I've got to clean that. <laughs> I like having a bit of cleaning. <laughs> it's nothing like having to clean up after a long day, is there really? Oh, absolutely, Julia. <laughs> Oh dear. I know in my head it makes sense that I want to do this. If you hang around, you can make yourself a coffee later. Look at that. Good time celebration. That look, uh, To me, that looks fantastic. Yeah, right. I like that. So what we're going to do now is just... It's interesting, actually, because the hickory smoke combined with the pit raspberry can become a lot plum-like, because that's quite plummy yeah. where they've been mixed together. So that's quite interesting. But I did clean that off a bit. So what I really want to do is only ink up the Celebrate, which is going to be a bit of a challenge to do it enough. And it will go, hopefully go plummy. So what I need to do now is just clean around that area there. And I don't need to do loads of cleaning because not a lot of it actually fits on the, the stamp. It's good, good times. It's that side. And then go along here. Now, Julia, just while you're doing that, I just need to tell everyone at home we're two much? thirds of the <gasps> stock gone. Almost two thirds of almost Come two on. thirds of bye, the stock bye, gone. Bye, 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 people. Let's have early doors. <laughs> <laughs> Um, very busy for the one day special again it's, it's the value that you're getting in the magazine deal and everything comes neatly packaged into the box so what we're thinking if you can't get round to somebody uh, this Christmas then you can send it in the post we're not quite sure whether that'll be a large letter it probably be a, a small package but you can see via the profile there um, how neat that's going to be and you know what it's wrappable as well now if you're going for one for yourself and maybe one for a friend you could actually make 
make and create your own wrapping paper using the stamps that it comes with. You're getting stamps, an embossing folder, you're also getting dies and an exclusive stamp just for you guys here at Hochanda. No one else will be able to buy that separately and it's not available separately either. £19.98. It's a great deal. I don't need to tell you that. I think you can see that on your screens. 568981 is your item number and it's the fourth edition as well so maybe you've got the first edition second edition or third edition um, in fact if you have and you've made and created anything with those particular stamps that came with the box set why don't you send us an email we'd love to see it it is studio at hochanda.com julia right so it's it's because it's quite plummy rather than um gray yeah. this is how it's turned out but i don't know if you can see so this is actually still pink but that's current that's kind of plummy so that I think that's quite interesting. You can show that to camera one if you want to, Julia. May I? You can. Oh, that is so a my, good time. So my good times is still pink. And then the other one's gone a bit plummy because it's got the... Uh, that looks really nice. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite happy well with that. Well done. That was just me thinking. Steady on, steady on, steady on. I think so, we did that as a team. Oh. So we will take... In fact, I'm not sure, too sure whether this, this hasn't sorted it out itself out yet, has it? Oh, it has. Yeah, yeah, I'll do. That's fine. Right, so let's actually stamp the... Um, I'm thinking it's somebody's uh, 50th birthday. That's what we have. And we'll stamp a five and a zero. We'll just use two of them, and so I'll use the ones with the biggest gap, so I'll use those two. Because, obviously, you've got all the numbers on there, so you can make a right old, a good old celebration card. Hopefully there's nothing on there. Yep, that's a, a, five, a zero, and then we've got the five, and that's going to go in there. Oh, that didn't go very well, did it? Right, let's have another go. I think a yeah, nice that, distress look to it, though. Yeah, this is, this is the first time I've used that stamp, so maybe sometimes you might want to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over with my head, I'm sorry, so I can see where I'm going. Yep, there we go. They say 50. life begins at 50. They do. I'm still waiting for that to begin. <laughs> well, you're only 26, aren't am you? Am I? Am I? <laughs> right. Let's, let's, let's construct this. So let's get a little bit of... Um, I was going to put a bit of ink around the edges, but... I, let's, see, let's go purple. Why not? Just to kind of take off the edge. Yes, 50 is the new 40, 40 is the new 30, 30 what, is the new 20, 60? 20 is the new 10 year olds and 10 year olds don't even know they're born yet. What's the new, what's the new 60 then? What's, the, what's new 60, 60, then? Is the, new the new 60 then? Is the new 50? The new 60 is, well, um, is 50, 50 is the new, 60 is the new, no, what? Is 60 the new 50? No? Yes, yes. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, so when you're 50 you feel 40, when you're 60 you feel 50. Well, they say you're only as old as the woman you're feeling, isn't it? <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Right, so let's pop this on here. Okay. So obviously, because it's graduated, you can decide which colour you want to have, top and bottom. Hopefully, that's straightish. Everything's just straightish because I do everything on the wall. And put a bit of foam tape on because it, it, it kind of just raises it a bit. If you don't want to uh, have a, a you know a card with dimension because you're posting it, don't worry about it. Get that over there. Uh, so let's see if we can get that straight on there. And these are just matted and layered with the, with the rounded corner rectangles, which should give you a really nice finish. And then we're gonna. This is still wet. Let's give that a dab off. I don't want to stick my finger in having made that all nice. Give it a little bit of shape. And you could add flowers to it if you want to. Obviously, we're not going for millions of flowers. Because my, I'm not Phil, so I've not done millions of flowers. I have smudged it a little bit. How annoying. It looks great. It's still smudged. It's distress, that's what it is. Because distress um, oxide as well as distress ink also stays open for a little while. So just bear that in mind. Obviously, if you just pop embossing powder on top, then um, you seal it and it's fine. Okay. Ready? 
after that. So we've got that's a zero. And that's a 50. 50. There we go. A bit wonky, but it stands up. That is lovely. What a lovely card. What a great combination of using with the stamps that you get in the collection. Well done, Julia. Thank I love you. that. Love that. And it was nice to see it develop. That's what it's all about. When you get your box set home, take everything out, place it on the table, go through the magazine, have a look at the inspirations that are in there for you, um, and then just sit down and enjoy. Maybe go through all of the inspirations, build and create, and then just unleash your creativity and use the stamps and the dies that come included to start to build and create your own designs. It's a lovely read. It's a lovely way to spend the afternoon just sitting down reading the articles that are in there. It's not all about creating. There's some lovely articles in there as well. It's a fabulous price when you consider everything that you're getting. Just showing you some samples here of what you can make and create. This is using one of the stamps and also the papers that are included in the magazine. That's a lovely card isn't it I mean maybe you need to uh, have um, a card for your dad or your brother for example um, I think that is absolutely fantastic uh, if we had an email in oh it's from somebody called Webster <laughs> says happy happy 50th Janice I'm actually 52 next year uh, I think I don't know. Do you I don't know. I, I stopped counting after 28. <laughs> Basically because I'm not very good at math and I couldn't count further than that. I think I'm 52 next year. Okay. I don't know. Um, anyway, um, it's your birthday. Maybe this could be for me. It's your birthday. Um, here's another lovely card, isn't it? And you can express um, different designs in different folding. Yes, this is your year. Celebrate 20. 21. Uh, thank goodness it doesn't say 2020 on there. Uh, there you go. Uh, another lovely design here. This is using the stamp on repeat to create that lovely, beautiful border. And then that corresponds with the border going on the outside of the card. I love the colour. And you've also got the die cut. The die also comes with the deal. Remember the stamp that Julia used? Well, it's a complete stamp that you can make and build and create your backgrounds with. Isn't that lovely? Um, think about wrapping paper. This would be perfect for that, for building and creating a pattern. It'll also be fabulous if you're perhaps making a box. That could be the side of a box, for example. Uh, it's a really nice stamp and I like the fact that this part that's been I think that's been embossed in the middle that's highlighting the celebration and then having all of the other words around the outside and I do believe these are part of the embellishments that we've got for you on the show yeah, so they're on there as well. Uh, your one day special proving to be incredibly busy. Uh, we thought it would be, but I didn't realise it would be this busy. Many of you have taken advantage of the price whilst we've got it. And also you've got that fabulous stamp in there, which is exclusive to you guys. Your one day special, it's a limited offer on the price because the price goes back up at six o'clock tomorrow night. But I don't think it's going to last beyond, I don't know, I'm not a gambling woman, but might not even last until, eight until the 8 o'clock in the morning because mm. people come in at all kinds mm. of times throughout the night and they're buying in Europe and America as well. So this is your one day special. If you have just joined us, it's great to have your company. Two thirds of the stock has now gone. We've got a lovely Julia Watts with us uh, who's been with us all day. Actually, Julia, how are you holding up? I'm all right. Good. Oh, are we at me or are we at you? Uh, <laughs> are you doing Julia, you've been be very... What's the word? <laughs> um, no, very dominant Am I? tonight. I don't yeah. think I'm very dominant sitting down. Well, where you, where you are. Are you sitting down? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm about I... that much taller when I stand up. <laughs> Same here, love. It's just an illusion on the TV. Um, oh, no. But I like it. I, I like the new Julia. Do you? Um, or perhaps it's just Julia I've not seen before. <laughs> Probably. Well, what we're going to have a look at now? Okay, we're going to make a, another dinky little card. Okay. Um, so um, I'm going to take one of the papers. Uh, in fact, it's it's the same uh, paper as I used on the previous one, uh, okay. but it's more the blue side of it. Yep. And we're going to take um, one of the other stamps that's on the show. We're going to take this one, which is your um, broken circuitry. 
Okay, we could be using the exclusive one. We absolutely could. Yeah, and these are two new stamps for you uh, that are available. We'll launch them here tonight. The details are on the screen if you want to go for those. Two marvellous background stamps, actually. Great for pattern building, but also great for adding texture maybe to your products. Um, you could... Am I right in thinking with these grey rubber, you could use them in your embossing powders when you heat yeah. your embossing powders yeah. up? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's a good idea just to do some experimenting with that and get some great backgrounds up. £23.98, that gets you both of those stamps launched right here tonight. OK, so we're, we're st I'm sticking with the same colours as before. So I've got my picked raspberry. In fact, I think I, used warm lip I wanted warm lipstick, but this is this now. Still a pink. And we're going to pop that, oops, pop that over our background here. It won't go all the way, but I don't need the whole piece anyway. Beans. Sounds Baked like beans. beans. Sounds like beads, doesn't it? Yes, yes. That's that's um, Stephen getting ready for the coffee show at nine o'clock. We've got the beans going into the machine. So you can see I've We've got those lovely aromas coming over. We have. It smelled very nice earlier. Mm. So I've changed that background now to have the circuitry on so it changes its personality absolutely completely yeah. which is really cool then we're going to take the um number border from the you must be careful be careful you don't lose your little stamps uh, which i have a, I, I have used before so it should come up off quite easily from your a4 set i pop this on this block here and we're going to over stamp again which is all about the layers Yes. And we're going to use our hickory, good old hickory smoke again. There's that hickory dickory dock again. Yeah, hickory dickory dock. It sounds like it's running up. The, it's got it's got its welly, welly boots on. Or it's, yeah, it's uh, the, hobnail yes. boots or whatever the they're called. The mouse ran up the clock. Yeah. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Mm. So this what is a nursery get, rhyme. It's it, great. It's a cool nursery rhyme. It is. Yeah. So this is going over the top. So now we've got a border. That's not as dark as I'd like, so normally I'd, I'd probably use a stamp press and go on again. But I've got one that I did already. Da, 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 da. Much better. And uh, this one I've used the uh, exclusive stamp in the background, so the new one. Okay. So this is going to go... Uh, I've edged this with the um, same uh, pink oxide, and I'm going to just pop that onto a piece of Phil's fabulous fuchsia. Um, card. Just be careful because the, the, they are they are uh, thinner papers that Phil the Phil normally uses. So just be careful with the amount of glue. They do actually settle down quite nicely. So don't what be scared. What glue are you using there? Gina? This is Phil's glue, which okay. is uh, in a pack. I think he's put all four on at a special price. Yes. So you'll be able to find those on the website. It's always good to have a look. Uh, for the right glues, for the right papers, and if Julia's using them and Phil recommends them, then they are good. Right, so that's just going to go onto, it's quite a clean and simple card this, it's going to go onto our background there, but what we'll do is we'll pop a sentiment on and we will reuse the stamp press so that we get it right. So um, let's have, let's see what's going to fit. Uh, Anniversary looks good. Anniversary looks good. But oh, it's it, your birthday. Let's have nice. it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Did I lose one? No, I've still got them all. Just keep on checking. I've not lost a little stamp. So we can pop that on here. And, I'm, and the reason I'm doing this is so that I can make sure that I don't make a mess of it. Oh, and you're back tomorrow, aren't you, as well, Julia? I am back tomorrow. Yeah, we've got 10 minutes. Let's emboss. Four o'clock. Let's emboss. See, we've got time, haven't we? Yeah. Of course we have. So we'll we'll stamp the Versa mark and we'll emboss with the silver embossing powder, which I think Phil's put on the show anyway. Anti-static bag. I don't know if it's on end of call at the moment. Sometimes it is. An end of call is when you go to check out your basket. Uh, it gives you suggestions at the end. Mm. Mm -hmm. We got caught out. You know when we couldn't find those stamps on that previous show? They were end of call. <laughs> They were where? End of call is, 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 has got some real treats on there sometimes. Yeah. So let's just pop and make sure I get it in the right place. So we pop our topper on here, just in place so that we know that we're going to get everything in the right place. We're not too far over. And on your, where did it go? Here it is. 
or it's your it's your birthday or on your birthday um it's your birthday i think it's your birthday let's go for that then if you say on your birthday you're kind of obliged to put a present inside the card or something whereas it's your birthday is just happy birthday yeah okay let's have that there then and we'll pop the uh we want versifying which i've put somewhere underneath that At home, I end up, you know, when I'm doing Facebook Lives and things, I end up work. This is the space I work in, this one here. Really? Yeah. I've what got, about Stu Craft in your home? Uh, I've got as a, 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 a one of the, the spare bedroom is my craft room. Yeah. Which has got a bed in it, which hasn't been used for quite a long time because I can't get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Might need to lie down when you're crafting. You never know. Well, I, I would do if I could get to the bed, but I can't. Even the cat can't sit on the bed. Because <laughs> of because of all your crafty stash, oh, it's just it's just full. It really is. Right, that's in Julie's spare room. Yeah. Oh, Our yeah. Our director yeah. was just asking, where do you sleep? Oh no, I sleep in my bedroom. Personal room, question, but which is which is completely separate. And my son's got his own room, oh. but then the other bedroom is my craft room. What I really need to do is get rid of the bed and get loads of shelving up. That's what I really need to do. So we want our pure silver embossing powder. Yep. There we go. Lovely. Packing in my assistant, so I'll have to put it away myself. I know, it's that's usually me, isn't it? It's rubbish, isn't it? Not having an assistant anymore. Well, hopefully soon. And I wonder when it all goes back to normal, whether we will come back together and stand next to I each other. So. Do you? Because that, you know, that little bike that we shared from last year? That little what? That sound bite thing from last year. Oh, we were actually yes. very close to each other, weren't we? We certainly were. Yes, I shared that as a memory. Well, you did, didn't you? Yeah. And then I shared it as well. Have a look on my Facebook for that one. It was a classic. It was when a Julia classic. was describing a card. Yes. Just yes. <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> right, so um, let's see, shall we? Hmm, let's put a little bit of... Have I got my thing out? No, I haven't, so we won't. We won't edge that. We'll just put it on as it is. Because it doesn't always have to. If you're doing clean and simple, you don't always have to edge it if you don't want to. No. Okay, and glue down. And while I'm at it, I'll put the glue on this layer as well because we're just going to do this as a flat. This is this is the card that's going to open and everything and stand up. And I've made a few of those today actually. Have In you? fact, I think all my all my cards have stood up so far today on this show. Well done. I know. It all stopped tomorrow. Have you peaked tonight? Probably. Okay. Probably. I'm sure there's what, lots more. I dread tomorrow. to think what I'm going to let me like at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm not at good at eight o'clock any morning really, but tomorrow's going to be. You'll yeah. be fabulous. Will I? Yes. Right. Okay. So that's going on there. Again, because it's embossed, you have to wait for it to wait to sit down properly, and and you never can. And that's going on here. I've got a couple of embellishments there, actually. I'll put those on. Mm. We've got five minutes left, Julia. That's fine. That's perfect. Five minutes left of this live hour. you can do a little hour. recap, can't you? Remember, we are now live here on her channel all the way through until 10 o'clock. Mm. And you're going to have cake, which mm. I'm very jealous about. I've got a lovely coffee show coming up, which is, which is perfect because I have a drive home tonight. It's about an hour and a bit. So when I leave at 10 o'clock tonight, I'll be fully awake, <laughs> ready to go. Wired. <laughs> So where's my little block that I've just had? It'll have to be that one. And I'll make sure I go for my comfort break before I leave. Yes, I think that's a very good idea. Right, so one of the little stamps, um, we can take... Uh, let's have the proper colour that I want. Except I haven't. We'll take sponge sugar, which is a lighter pink. And I've stamped, already stamped and cut out one of the little um, clocks. And we, we can add detail to these clocks as if they're decorative clocks, if we want to, by stamping some of the little stamps over the top. So now, they look nice with a bit so of glossy accent on yeah, as well. So I don't know if you Julia. can see that on that camera. Let's have a look. It's a very pale colour. Oh, yeah. That just makes it look like a more of a decorative clock. Like that. Okay. 
that's just one of the bonus stamps that you've got uh, in the kit so I've got one of these so it's your birthday and we're going to just add a, a clock on there do you know what time you were born Julia oh I know what time my kids were born but I don't know what time uh, I was born I think it's probably I don't know I could say my mum will probably know I was born at 10.30 on oh, a really? Sunday. And because the, don't they say that if, if people are born at night, they're more like night owls? Do really? they say? Yeah, I think so. Well, I'm not really a morning person, so I don't know what was cracking off with me. So. 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> Mind you, I was, I was premature when I was born. That's really bugging me because I won't well, sit down. Anyway, I'll hold that so you can't see. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. I really like that. And I love those numbers on the side. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? Do you like that number Very stamp? simple. So, in fact, when I, when I had this, this was, this was me um, just having a bit of, that was a spare bit of card left over when I cut the background out from this. So on my width of, of my paper, yeah. I had that pit bit left over from cutting that square out so that's why I made that. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, do you know what? It's been great working with you, Julie. It's lovely having you sat there and you're just coming up and thinking and being inspired and making. And that's true crafting, isn't it? I know we have lots that we put to one side and, and we're ready to go with the demonstrations, mm. but it's lovely to see you change your mind and still come up with something that's absolutely brilliant. Well that's because my kits aren't properly prepared. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's all they organic, are prepared, isn't it? but they're not kind yeah. of. Normally, what we do is we have a finished sample and we show you the finished sample and then we make that. Yeah. But I haven't had time to do that. So, I like it so though. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's great because it shows that you know one, it could be a surprise to you. Mm. You can change your mind as you're going through, and also it gives help to people at home and inspiration. So yeah. it's been fantastic. Yeah. Well, the inspiration's all in the magazine, really, because there's so like, much in there. What would you like to tell people at home if they're thinking about going for the magazine set? I would say yes, because it's fantastic value for money, just, just with the magazine and all the extras that you get with it. And to get that limited edition stamp is just tremendous. So I would definitely go for it. You won't regret it because it's all... It's the best yeah. box kit that Bill's done. I think it is. I really do. Yeah. And all of his box sets are absolutely fantastic. Mm. Just showing you a couple of samples here of the likes that you can make and create because you've got your stamps, you've got your dies, you've got your embossing folder as well. I mean, that is fabulous, isn't it? it? Isn't that it? really yeah. is an explosion yeah. of fireworks and pop and fizz. It's Happy New Year. Um, this is a beautiful card as well a nice large card but using that stamp on repeat somewhere just to make it a little larger but imagine that as a background or even i was thinking if you're using some fabric that's ink, not repeated actually that is, is that the size of that's it that's the size of it a6 yeah wow. yeah that is the size of it is it yeah i'm not questioning you i was just like wow. i'm sure it is pick it up and put can it on I? the top can I? one sorry yeah, i'm it. just going to lean forward just do it janice just just do it, go for it. This it is where I just... It doesn't matter if you drop it. It's let's the see, end of the let's hour. see, let's see. Just so yeah, you can prove look to at the, that. the viewers that that is... Look at that. Yeah. yeah. I didn't realise it was that big. It's, a, it's an A6 stamp. That is brilliant. And what I'm thinking there, if you use some fabric ink, you could create some tea towels and napkins and things. Mm. Um, mm. To celebrate, oh, if that's you've a got great gift, around. isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, we've got 30 seconds left, Julia. It's been an honour. Thank, Thank you very you much. Everybody. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> oh well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Everyone will see you tomorrow. Um, have a good night's sleep. Thank Do rest you. well. Um, but if you want to hang around, we'll make you a coffee, or you'll be able to make yourself a coffee with the fantastic machine that's coming up. But do check out your baskets. Make sure you get your one-day special. It's a fabulous price, and we've been very, very busy. I don't know if it's going to be here in the morning, so make your decisions now. We'll see you after the break. Let's get perked up. Yes, coffee beans, coffee machines. Oh, I cannot wait. That's coming up next. Then Centre Me Yours One Day Special is on repeat after that. And then we've got more from Chocolate Baroque. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. 
Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels, then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. I've been with Hachanda since the very, very beginning and I've been crafting a lot longer than that. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products as well as some of their other amazing brands such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut and the Craft Artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. So don't miss the John Next Door and Crafts 2 shows on the channel. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy B shows on Hachanda. Good evening, everyone. I'm so looking forward to this show. I really am. Uh, coffee is an art. Coffee is a science. Coffee is all about taste. It's about flavour. And it's about experience. And it's about convenience in your own home as well. Being able to make the coffee how you like it to taste, how your family and friends like it to taste, is an absolute art form. But it's something that's so easy and simple to do when you have the right equipment. We're going to take you through 
what we've got available for you on the show and we're going to talk all about coffee and I'm going to do that with my wonderful guest who's joined me tonight, it's an old friend of mine, it's lovely <laughs> Steve, how are you Steve? I'm very well thank you, how are you doing? Uh, I'm very good, do you know you... something, should we just start how we're going to go on and just have Cheers. a taste of this coffee? Cheers. What are you drinking there? I've got a single espresso, okay. just to and kind I... of give me the perk up on and a I've Sunday night. I've got a latte, so yes. I shall join you in that, so just bear with us while we just take a sip. Oh. Nice and fresh. Oh my word. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It's that fresh taste. It's about the aromas that first of all hit you yeah. from the glass or the cup that you're drinking from. But it's about that smooth taste. Um, many of you maybe drink coffee, instant coffee, and that's, that's absolutely fine if that's the way that you want to go. But for me, drinking what I call proper coffee from a coffee machine, from a proper coffee yes. machine, uh, makes all the difference. And I'm just going to say this, I'm going to get this out there right now. I was doing some calculations because this is a considerable, uh, considerable purchase. We know that. It is available on FlexiBuy. We're going to talk about the value that you're getting. But let me just tell you this, and th this is me, this is my experience, okay. I spend £2.10 per day, Steve, on a coffee because I've got in the village, I've got a shop that has a machine that I can go into and I can get that coffee because it's one of my favourite flavours. So I do that every day and it suddenly occurred to me, if I add that up, for a week, that's £14.70. pence. For a month, I know, this is when I started to realise, a month, 50, over £58 pounds on coffee. A year, let's add that up, let's face it, because I'm doing this every day, and I do. Anyone that knows me will know this. £705 pounds per year I'm spending on coffee where I can now make and create that in the comfort of my own home. I can perk myself up in the morning. I can have a little pick-me-up in the afternoon if I want to. And I've got wonderful coffee to serve to my family and friends after dinner as well. Steve, let's talk through yes. this deal. Yes, yes, it yes. really is incredible. Shall we start, first of all, with the creme de la crema? The 270S, the yeah. yes, the WPM 270S, yeah. Just to kind of hone in on what you were saying there, uh, we do a lot of surveys and we do a lot of, kind of calculations, and it's not just about the coffee. You know, we talked about this earlier, it's the flapjacks, it's the cakes, it's the sandwiches, and mm. a lot of people with lockdown are trying to get more healthy, and, you know, that, those bits add on, yeah. not just onto the, the, <clears throat> the waistline, I won't talk about my waistline, but also into the pocket. Uh, and our calculations show that if you buy one coffee a day from a major chain, which we don't recommend, we yep. in, in good independence, um, then actually the machines like this, or the kit certainly that you've got on offer today, would pay for itself in under a year. Yeah, it certainly would. And it means that you've got that money that you would normally spend on coffee yep. back in your bank account yeah. to spend, I mean, it could be a holiday, it could, could be, be presents, anything. it could, could be, be a car, anything. could yeah. be towards a new home, yeah. could be anything. And these are great machines, I mean they're built to last, we use them in both domestic and commercial environments, so they are really, really robust, robust machines. Um, we've got them in cafes, we've got them in small bars, we've got them in lots of places, but yeah, these are, we, we're selling them today on as a home use machine, yeah. and boy are they good. They certainly are. Now you can buy the machine separately on its own if you want to, we'll bring the details with the machine on its own, it is available on FlexiBuy as well, it's interest free payments, um, and it does mean you're going to get this in time for Christmas for all those wonderful coffees and experiences that you will have. So £775 for the machine on its own, brand new today, 271305. Um, and again, with the machine, there are so many features to this. It is really easy to use, but there's lots of features to it. Yeah, there is. I mean, you can take it out of the box, as I do normally, and just use it straight away. Once you gain your confidence, you gain your experience, and then all you do is you start to play with the programs and the settings and it gives you an infinite amount of coffee flavours that you can play with and you can generate yourself. You match that with the fantastic WPN grinder and then you've got an absolutely fantastic kit. It's Now this yeah. grinder is, is extra special isn't it? It's some really cool features. It is, it's a well. really really nice grinder. Um, not only is it really elegant and matches the little 270 perfectly but you've got some really unique features. I'll just quickly take you through a couple of them at the moment. Yeah, please. So, You've got here, first of all, a removable hopper. So simply just twist and lift. You've actually got a little locking mechanism there that allows you to keep your beans fresh. Okay. The second thing you've got here is an infinite level of grinding capacity and change. So you've got here your grind settings. So you just literally turn it from fine to the left all the way to coarse to the right. 
and you can adjust that as much as you like. Yeah. So you're fully in control of the coarseness of the coffee. It has a removable burr grinder in there as well, so it allows for better cleaning and in-depth cleaning. What you've got on the side here as well, and if the camera can pick that up, but you've got a very simple and easy to use switch. So you've got an auto function there, there. So it allows you just to manually click down here with the group head, and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. Or you can have an on. So if you are doing a different kind of coffee, so you're using a filter coffee or a percolator or a machine, a different machine, you can just literally turn that on and you can grind as much or a little coffee as you want. Now I've actually used this grinder and it's really easy to use as well. As a really cool feature of a light within that particular grinder so that when you do uh, place, what do you call? Uh, so you've got the group head. The group, the group head, head when you place hair. it in there, you've got that light that illuminates that coffee and it comes out instantly. There is. I mean, on that side, before I get to that, yep. I jumped ahead. I oh, know, I can't <laughs> help it. I'm so, I'm Very so uniquely, this comes with a, um, sorry, it's the coffee kicking in both of us now. So you've actually got here a little secret compartment. And I don't know if the overhead cam can get this, but here it comes with a cleaning brush. Yep. And also a little adapter. So if any of you have got a coffee machine and you just want a fantastic grinder yeah. and you've got one of those main st high street ones, you can still use this grinder just by clipping that in there. Perfect. Because it, the grind or the machines you've got will have a smaller group head than this. Okay. So it's designed to work with all different coffee machines. So it's a and fantastic you, And you can get the grinder on its own if you want to go for that. It's a great price and we'll bring the details on the screen. So maybe you've already got a coffee machine and you're not thinking of upgrading at the moment, but I do recommend you do. Uh, you can go for the grinder on its own. £250, but you can divide the cost of that. It is available on Flexibuy, which means interest-free payments of £83.33. Pence. Perfect. So those are the details for the grinder on its own. But remember, you're going for the bundle. You're starting to build that value. And there is still more to come, but we're still talking about the grinder. We are, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because it comes with this. I don't know if anyone can see. There's a nice little collar. That sits nicely on there. So for people that are just coming into this style of machine and this technology, it allows you to grind your coffee at the touch of a finger to the volume we want. And you can see that light now coming on. And there's um, the light just in there. Yeah. And you, you don't have to press down really no, hard, I mean, like that's... you say, just using your finger. It's, it's literally as gentle as that. I wish there wasn't social distancing and I can actually get you to do this as well. <laughs> I know, I know, it's a shame, but it really is easy to work. And of course, you get that ground coffee how you want it because you've got the different, um, you can have it coarse, or you can have it really fine, and that's going to depend on the kind of coffee that you're making. It does very much. It depends on the method you're using. So if you're using something like a French press or cafetiere, then you'd, you'd definitely want a much coarser grind coffee. Yeah. If you're using something like these, you want a really fine coffee because yeah. what you're trying to do is compact the coffee here and then you're using the, the pressure of the machine to actually extract the flavours and a much stronger flavour yeah, as well and course. intense. If you've got a cafeteria at home, then you can grind your own coffee. Any um, method, yeah. Yeah, and it's yeah. a lot fresher and, and tastier uh, when you're grinding it yourself. And of course, you can find the bean that suits you and suits your taste. Talking of beans and ground coffee, we do have some available for you on the show, but you are getting some within the bundle. So um, you've got the whole bean, you've got one of each flavour. We'll run through the flavours later on, but these are available for you. So you can go for these separately if you want to but we're starting to build up that value of the bundle absolutely and in that bundle you also get the two travel mugs as well which i can't emphasize enough how great they are yeah They're fantastic. they really are and you're also getting your tamper and the tamper and also a world barista style yeah. champion. now this is no ordinary jug <laughs> is it this is an incredible no. design designed by um, the world champion barista it was ivy mm -hmm. licky and you've got some really cool features in here. You might think, oh, but that's just a mug. But it's not. There's some really nice features on here that you can use to create the perfect coffee and also to make those cheeky little pictures on the top. Yes. No, I wish you hadn't said that. <laughs> no <laughs> that's pressure. not my strong point. Okay. You don't have but, to do okay, that. Okay, that's all right. Then. Yeah, there's some really great features about the jugs. I mean, first and foremost, you can actually see there the actual top of the jug itself is angled so it's at an angle of about 12 degrees the second thing you can see is the actual alignment here of the spout and the handle 
Sounds a daft thing, but it's really, really important because when you are trying to recreate the latte art that we will see shortly, yes. not from me, I hasn't to add, um, but it actually gives you a real accurate pour. And again, with that, working in conjunction with that slope allows you to get really into the coffee, into the detail of the coffee. Now that on its own is worth, is it 40 pounds? About 40 pounds, yeah. we'll bring yeah. the details of that on the screen. So again, we're building the value here. This is your complete experience. It's going to be in your home and you'll be able to use this time and time and time again because it's a robust machine. It's a professional machine. This has been used in professional settings as well yep, as home settings. we've used them and our roaster Jason, um, who I should put, drop in the name there a little bit. Um, yeah, we've used them at London Coffee Festivals. We've used them in international coffee festivals as well at World Champion Barista competitions. Um, and these machines have made anything from 200 to 500 coffees a day. Shall we see it in action, I'm Steve? That's what because I'm here. This, yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Because this is going to give you the opportunity to make a coffee. You can make two cups at the same time if you want to. You've also got the availability of that steam, which really does make a difference, which gives you that professional taste. It's what you go out to the coffee shops to get, but you'll be able to have it in your own home. Now, I'm not saying never go out to a coffee shop, um, because that's a great experience, isn't it, with your friends? you meet people but whilst we can't go out or maybe you know on your way to work you don't have the time to stop off now you can make it yourself and think about the money that you'll also be saving by being able to create your own coffee details on your screen at the moment 292137 that's your item number you've got your coffee machine you've got all the accessories the grinder itself is incredible you've got the coffees as well so when you get all of this home when it's delivered to your door you're good to go you've got the different flavors of coffee to start making and creating the coffee that you want the way you want it it's dividable as well on flexibuy you've got interest-free payments it's a great installment to pay 333 pounds and 31 pence is your first payment another payment after that and another payment after that but i promise you and that's a big promise you're not going to look back so i'm going to take a sip of this um whilst we see our first demonstration okay so one of the things i didn't mention actually i don't know if the camera can zoom in on this at all but you've actually got two lines here and there to allow you to measure out the exact milk you need for different types of coffee. Okay. So I'll fill up to the 200 ml, which is the bottom one first. Shall we talk about milk? Because there are people yes. out there who have um, milk that is uh, lactose-free. Lactose yeah. um, some people like to use soy milk or almond milk, um, semi-skim milk, full-fat milk. Is there anything in particular you want to tell us about using milk? Yes, the better quality milks, um, we're, and we're using a very famous brand milk that's highly TV advertised uh, mm. because it is re really good quality, the enzymes are good, the, the way the fats break down is better. The green top, red t uh, sorry, green top and blue top milks are the best, best milks to use to actually get the, the thickness of the milk you need. Um, but there are, if you are using a longer life milk, go for the barista milks, the ones that are labelled in the supermarkets yeah. as a barista milk. It's very important because you'll get a much better finish on the coffee and the, and the actual flavour of the coffee being extracted better. Perfect. So, okay, so I'm going to grind some coffee first. So some of you may have noticed I actually threw away the last bit. Yeah. Uh, much to most people is kind of cringing, but it's to keep the coffee fresh. Yeah. We're talking about fresh coffee here. Yeah, sure. So, as you can see, I've ground it with the hood on there. So it's going to be a tap, take the hood off, and then underneath here, you've actually got a little rubber bung there. Okay. That's designed to sit there so you can actually then tamper without damaging worktop. And how important is it to tamper your coffee? It's exceptionally important. Yeah. When you're doing an espresso-based coffee, it's, it's vital, as much as getting the coarseness of the grind absolutely right. Yeah, so that well, compacts the coffee down compacts it for the so you steam and the water to run through. Yeah. Perfect. What you may find sometimes when you do grind your coffee is you'll find a little bit of residue there. Yep. A quick brush of the hand usually gets rid is of it. Is that called blessing the coffee? Yes. There you go. Yeah. You bless the coffee before you put it into the machine. So then you lock it in there 45 degrees and then bring it straight for the handle straight towards you. Okay. Now, the great thing about these machines is this is what's called a twin thermoblock machine. Mm -hmm. So what it allows you to do is something quite unique in this marketplace even more so at this price point, because you're looking at machines normally that can do this yep. at about one and a half thousand upwards. So what you can do is very simply, you can do your coffee and your milk at the same time. So you don't have to wait. You for don't the have to wait for it to heat up at all. That is superb. And again, like you say, that's that's with the high end 
uh, machines that you yeah. normally go for. So what we're doing now is we're putting steam into the milk. You are, and what you're listening for, as our friend Jason said the other day, is that wonderful kissing sound. Oh, I love that. And it is a kissing sound, isn't it? It is. It's absolutely great. I mean, he's going to cringe at my milk skills, and, but don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure you forgive me. The great thing is, you will be able to build your experience about making... First of all, just think about the taste of the coffee that you'll be making. Uh, and then think about all the fancy things that come there for afterwards. And, and you'll develop that if you want to, and become your own barista. Yeah. I don't know if any of you saw them, but once you've finished steaming your milk, it is worthwhile just giving it a little bit of a purge as well. And you see there, that's something worth showing. The power of that steam is incredible. Yeah. This is something you would normally get on a high-end machine, a real top-end, 1500, yeah. 2000 pound machine. Plus the fact that that level, if it's a boiler machine, which is the older technology yeah. you find in a lot of the Italian machines, it will run out of steam. This doesn't. It just keeps going and going and wow. going. It is a real fantastic bit of kit. Um, the water that goes into the machine, of course, there is an indication of how much water you've got left in the machine. You can see it just there. So you will be able to tell. It's not going to be that experience where you go to your machine, oh, you've run out of water. It's going to tell you at all times. Yeah, and on the actual, on the machine here, I'll talk you through the machine in a bit more detail in a second. You've actually got a gauge there that shows the water capacity. Now, this is a huge water tank yeah it's got a three and a half litre water wow. tank so don't worry about your dinner party just keep making your coffees yeah. you'll be absolutely Perfect. fine um, so let me do this I will have a go I know as I say what you're doing here what I'm trying to do here is break up some of the crema which is the lovely golden color on top of the coffee yeah. at the same time I'm just trying to swirl the milk a little bit so I can get a nice bright white without any air bubbles in there's no pressure here at all. No pressure, don't worry about it. And that's going in. You see, you could start to develop your own little picture on there. Nice little bit of mixed media on top of your coffee. There you are. Perfect. Look at that. But it is all down to that flavour, isn't it? And it you is. can choose and decide the coffee bean that you like. You're getting four different uh, flavours of or different styles of coffee bean. We will talk about these in more detail, but you do get those included. But you can see there that professional looking coffee and the way it sits in the glass, the way you'll deliver it to your guests, but also deliver it to your lips as well and taste that gorgeous, beautiful coffee. Uh, we will be taking a look at the beans in more detail. If you do want to go for this excellent bundle, it really is an incredible deal. It really is. And if you think about the cost remember for me my experience two pounds ten a day that's just for a regular americano if i'm then upgrading to maybe a latte mm. or a cappuccino that price is going to go up two pounds yeah. sixty a day sometimes i want two coffees um but i sat down and i thought about that and i did the calculations just for me an americano a week fourteen pounds and seventy pence you think well, you know, that's not that much. But if you break that down over the year, that's £705 a year that I'll have back in my pocket going for this particular deal. And what a deal it is as well. You are saving £130. If you want to treat yourself for Christmas or maybe a birthday or you just want to have that professional touch to your coffee that beautiful taste as well time and time again don't settle for second best when it comes to coffee do not settle for second best get the best and get on the phones or get on the website and order this 292137 is your item number your first payment of 333 pounds 31 pence today freedom members of the pmp to pay uh, we're going to be talking all about the coffee bean next but take a look at this There's just something about the smell of coffee, isn't there? There is something about the smell of the bean before it's even ground that, oh, just fills, fills me with happiness. I love coffee. I really, really do. And in fact, it's taken over for me, it's taken over from tea. When I wake up in the morning, I'm thinking about the cup of coffee I'm going to have. I used to think about the tea. 
and I still drink tea, but now I think about coffee. Now we do have options for decaf for you. So if you do drink decaf coffee, we've got some for you as well. We've got ground coffee and we've got coffee beans for you to grind. So let's take a look at the different deals that we've got. These are the whole bean varieties for you. And you've got five different options and you've got four different flavors or you can actually go for one of each. So you get four packs in each deal. So we'll run you through the flavors. And if you can't decide on one particular flavor, then you can go for one each and then you'll get to decide your favorite and then you can order some more. So Steve, should we go through the different flavors? Should we start with the Blue Mountain uh, flavor? And I believe that this one has been designed to mimic the, the famous flagship Jamaican Blue Mountain Jamaican that Blue everybody Mountain. loves. It's one of the favorite coffees for everybody. Yeah, I mean, Jamaican Blue Mountain is hugely, hugely expensive. Um, and as much as we all love it, the, the mimic version that Jason has um, roasted is, is you, you wouldn't tell them apart. You really wouldn't. And these have all been roasted here in the UK. They Let's have. They've got a fantastic set. little micro roastery down in Halesworth in Suffolk. Um, and they, these guys are, are great. And they will roast very, very small batches for us. And the three out of the four blends that we've got here, I need to say, are exclusive to Hachanda. Perfect. I love that. I love that. It could be an idea for you guys at home to go for one of each and then you can decide which flavour you like at what time of day because you have your morning yeah. coffee, you might have a mid-morning coffee, a perk you up in the afternoon and there may be an after dinner coffee as well. So it could be a good idea to go for one of each. But that's your Blue Mountain and this has got your uh, fruity citrus notes to it. It has. I mean, the Blue Mountain is fantastic when used either in a, bean, in a, in a um, whole bean machine such as this or even in some of the other devices we're going to show later on. Yeah. Um, and that gives it really, really good smooth notes. It's fruity citrus. Uh, it is a nice balanced coffee as well. It's very easy drinking. It's great as a strong espresso, but it is equally nice as a latte or cappuccino. Love that. Right, let's move on. Let's go on to the next one. Should we go to the Latino? The Latina, the vibrant yes. coffee. Yes. yes. Hey, a bit of salsa coming in. Yes. <laughs> so it will be salsa in around after a couple of these. Uh, uh, yes. It's a lovely flavoured coffee. It is. It's a really nice, robust, strong coffee. And I, I'd say robust. It's a, a blend of Arabica and Robusta. And I know that Jason talked to you about this the other day. And there's actually a really good story behind the fact of actually having a good balanced coffee. You know, people have a, turn their noses up when you say Robusta, but actually a good quality Robusta will outweigh and is a better quality coffee than a, than a bad quality um, Arabica. Mm. So. Um, if you've ever been traveling, maybe you've been to Spain, maybe you've been mm. to Italy and you've drank the coffees in those different countries, they do have uh, quite a different taste. Crumbs, but this yeah. is more for that Italian style coffee. This is a real kind of kick. It's a real boost of coffee. Yes, yeah. it certainly gives you a good vibrant uh, feel. Good one for the morning. Yeah. Or maybe just for, sometimes, you know, a little perk you up mm. uh, mid-afternoon. It's really good. You don't have to have a lot. Some coffee shops that I've been to, I mean, you can get coffee servings, which are, uh, which are they're like soup bowls. Yeah, and they're just watered down. It's just, yeah. it's, it is just like a consomme. <laughs> and um, when I've been to, uh, what I love, when I've been to uh, Italy, mm. uh, been lucky enough to go to Rome, sometimes you just walk by the little coffee uh, shops and it is just a bar that you lean up against to get that little hit of espresso and then you carry on with your afternoon you see that a lot in Europe and in that particular culture so this one is that nice little kick either a kick start in the morning or yep. maybe a perk you up in the afternoon right uh, let's move on should we go on to lazy day yeah, the Lazy Day is a really nice coffee. It's a nice, relaxing coffee. So within the Lazy Day, it's a South, South Central American blend. Um, it's really nicely rounded. It's got hints of chocolate, nutty, caramel sort of tones to it. It's just a nice, easy drinking coffee. And again, it's one of these that works beautifully with milk drinks. So a nice soft milk drink. It's also really, really good for people that have had a bad experience in the past with bitter coffees. It mm. takes away that edge. Yeah. It's a really nice, actually with milk, it's a very sweet coffee. Yeah. Really actually, nice that's a very good point uh, because if you, if you have drank coffee previously and you thought, well, that's a slightly uh, bitter taste, you might have just been drinking the wrong coffee. So to go for a really nice smooth blend like that could be ideal for you. Remember, you can get one of each if you want to. 
Great price as well, £19.96. And, and that's getting you four. Four great coffees. Yeah. And very different coffees as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they are very different. It is excellent price. Yeah. Um, now, you get, to, is it 270 grams per, 227 grams per yeah. bag? Um, let's move on to the Venetian blend. Yeah, the Venetian is one of the latest blends and roast uh, from Jason. And it's an African blend. Uh, primarily Ethiopian, but again, it's got a nice big kick to it. Um, and so this this sort of coffee is really, really well suited to things like the French press, or which is a cafetiere, or even the mocha pot. It's a nice, good, smooth coffee, but it's got a bit of bit of a punch behind it. Yeah. Now these are the bean. Uh, so this is something that you will need to grind, of course. Um, and if you're going for the grinder that we've got available for you on the show. Oh, you lucky people, it's absolutely fantastic. If you've already got a grinder, of course, at home, these will work perfectly for you. Now, if you can't decide from those descriptions that we've given you, you can also go and have a look on the website. Uh, maybe get one of each, and then you'll know, and then you'll have an experience of all the different tastes. And it might be a really nice way of spending an afternoon. Uh, just tasting the di coffee tasting like you have wine tasting uh, so any four if you want to go for a mix you can go for one each still the same price of 19 pounds and 96 pence uh, which is perfect now we also have ground coffee available for you in the same flavors in the same flavors you've got your lazy day blend your venetian blend your latino blend and you've also got your Blue Mountain blend as well. Um, and again, there is an assorted pack you want to go for. So let's just show you the ground coffee. This is what it's going to look like. And now, I was under the misconception that you store your coffee in the freezer or the fridge. But I was told, oh my goodness, Janice, don't do that. Um, yeah, room temperature. So you don't need to put this in the freezer. You don't need to put it in the fridge. You can open it. It's got a resealable bag. Just keep it at room temperature. And that goes for the coffee bean or for the ground coffee. So let me just bring the coffee bean in just to show you. So you're either going to go for the coffee bean that you'll grind yourself or you've got the pre-ground coffee. So you can use that with your cafeteers if you want to. £19.96. pence. You get four in your pack. 227 grams in each. Or you can go for one of each, which I highly recommend, actually, because then it gives you a way of tasting the different coffees and let's face it when you have your visitors round when we are allowed to have a visitors round or you might have several people living in your house whether it be in a bubble or whether it be your family and you might all have different tastes to coffee um, and that's important because we, we all like different um, strengths and we all like different flavors i like an americano I like a strong espresso jane on the other hand she likes a nice smooth coffee maybe um in a uh, a latte or a cappuccino so different flavours, different tastes, and sometimes different times of day gives you the indication for your different flavours. Uh, right, so those are your choices in your flavours of coffee, 19 pounds and 96 pence. Highly recommend getting some of those sent to you. We also have a decaf option available to you. Uh, you can go for the whole bean or the ground, and again, you get four in a pack. So if you do want to go for the decaf, if that is your choice, it is available for you, so you're not going to miss out on any of the taste. Right, so we've got something else available for you. This is fascinating, our next item. Uh, and I love this when I first saw it. Can we talk through this, Steve? It's a wonderful pour-over. Um, the Asobu pour-over is an amazing bit of kit. We launched these about four months ago, and we just can't get enough stock ourselves. So to have this, and an exclusive cover, colour, sorry, which is the beautiful rich red. I don't know if you've got... Yes, yes, there, yes, I've got the red one here. It's like a plum colour, isn't it? Perfect yeah. Christmas red. Per do you know what? Perfect Christmas red. <laughs> now, what we've done with the Sobu is that normally what you actually get is the mesh filter, which I'll talk about in a second, a glass carafe, and then you get your insulated pot underneath with the lid. Now, what we've managed to convince the Sobu, is probably the best way to do it, is also to include the pouring handle. I think that's brilliant. So this actually acts as a secondary lid that you can take to the table. Your coffee is then ready to pour and extract. Isn't that fabulous? And this is a great price, everyone. You can divide the cost of this into two payments, interest-free as well. But imagine Christmas time or maybe, uh, you know, you're crafting of a morning. Maybe you've got your friend coming around. Maybe you're just crafting. You don't want to have to keep getting up and going to the kitchen and making yourself a coffee. Absolutely you make not. it, create it, and it's there ready to go. Yeah. Before I start making a coffee in this one, because I will make you a coffee, um, 
I don't know if you can see it here, you've got a really nice stainless steel funnel. It has a really unique characteristic, it actually has a double mesh wall in there. So you've got a very, very fine mesh in the centre here. And you've also then got your slightly more coarser mesh on the outside. They're designed to let all the flavours percolate in the coffee and come through into the carafe at the bottom here um, with no ground coffee going through. So it's a really clean, crisp coffee that it delivers. So this is your drip style this coffee. Is. So to make one of these really, really simple, so you just get a coffee scoop and you put approximately four spoons of coffee. Now, one way to add, you can actually use this, for those that want to, for cold brew. Now tell us about cold brew, because this is fascinating. Cold brew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> want to put me on the spot, spot or Thanks, anything. <laughs> yeah, cold brew is something that I've not been a lover of until the last year or so. Um, cold brew was developed roughly, came into the market in the UK around about four or five years ago. And it was a kind of a bit of a fashion thing to start with, but it really has taken off. And it's, it's, it's a process that allows the coffee to ferment for a lot longer mm. in colder water. Mm. You can start it off in hot water, which is what we would do here. Um, but you can also then brew it in the chamber and then filter it out after you have after you've brewed it for 24 hours in the fridge. So this is not like a coffee that you just leave to go cold and then put it in the fridge with some ice cubes. This is proper cold brew coffee that you can make in this. Maybe that's something that you could progress to later on. Yes, exactly, yeah. Now for this one, what I've just done here is just pre-infuse the, the actual coffee here, just pouring a little bit of hot water over the coffee, just around it, a few seconds before we do a proper pour. And what that does, it just starts what they call the blooming process here. So you can see then the lovely crema coming up to the top of the surface here already. And once that starts to come, then you just add as much hot water as you want. How long does it take for that to just seep all the way through if we were to fill it to the top? Well, that's now extracting as I'm pouring it. You can hear So that, you can yeah. hear it. I mean, imagine that in the centre of your table, if you've got a dinner party, for example, pouring the hot water in. It's a talking point as well as something to enjoy after dinner or yeah. throughout the day. It is. And the fact that actually it comes with the lid as well. There's a, it's an airtight lid, so you can even take that on a picnic with you. There's no okay. reason why not, but yeah, when we're allowed idea. out, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, in the garden, maybe, you know, in the summer months, taking the coffee out to the table. If you've got a caravan, a motor home, for example, something like that. Or maybe if you are going on a picnic, going on a walk, it means you're taking your favourite coffee with you so you can enjoy that in the great outdoors. With this particular deal, you're also getting the Blue Mountain Ground Coffee. That's included in the deal, and it comes in this beautiful presentation box, which means that it's going to be perfect for you to wrap up and could be a bit of a mystery when somebody opens that as a Christmas present. It's a great idea for a Christmas present. You know, you might have somebody in the family, your brother, your uncle, your auntie, your son, your daughter, maybe someone that's got a new home. You're thinking, what shall I get them for Christmas? This really is a perfect gift. £59.97. You're saving £17 on that original price and you can divide the cost into two and of course you're getting the ground coffee good to go. So it's a great, it's like getting a Christmas gift with the batteries included. Absolutely, yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, I used to, before lockdown I did a lot of travelling and in previous careers and previous roles I did a lot of European travel yeah. and to have something like this in my suitcase would have been a fantastic yeah. godsend because coffee in hotels usually is not that great. Yeah. <laughs> It's not that good. We do have some other items actually for you on the show. We've got uh, a quick one cup solution. Yes. Uh, it's making coffee. So go, do go ahead on the website for that because that is excellent for travellers. Um, but make sure that you get what you want and place it into your basket and check it on out. If you do want to go for the coffee sprinter, and it might make you sprint, you never know. Uh, this is a great idea. £17.99 and you're also getting some ground coffee in included the in lazy day. that um, and it's it's the lazy day so yeah. it's a beautiful coffee to have um, but if you're again thinking of a gift maybe brother sister best friend for example um, this is ideal it really is it really is it's a great gift it's called the coffee sprinter and that's what it looks like you just place that over your cup you put the coffee in the top so it filters it through and that gets you your one single cup, which is great, especially in work environments at the moment where we kind of have to keep ourselves to ourselves and social distance. Um, this is a great idea if you take this into work with you 
then you've got that it's at your desk you brew your own coffee and um, then you can enjoy it which is fabulous or as a crafter again at your crafting station uh, the area where you craft for example you've got that and it's just brewing as you're crafting away and then you're ready to drink your favorite coffee 17 pounds and 99 pence is a great deal it's a great present three double six seven double two is your item number Oh, I feel quite buzzing. This is great. <laughs> Love this show. Uh, right, so we're going to head back and have a look at that uh, full bundle for you and talk you through the machine and all the extras. If you do have any questions, please do email in. It is studio at hochanda.com. Take a look at this. Oh, excuse me. But you know what? Oh, I love coffee. It's, sorry, it's the taste and the flavour. I can't actually drink coffee from a jar that you buy at the supermarket. I can't. It just, it doesn't, it, I, I don't feel right on it. So I have to have the proper ground coffee, the tasting coffee. And normally I'm going out and I'm buying it every day. That's what I do. I buy it every day. Um, but I did sit down and I worked out the costing of that. And it was costing me, set, just for an Americano every day, £705. I mean, that yeah. is crazy, isn't it? Uh, buying a system like this will mean that money goes back into my pocket so I can pay for this over one year. And then I've got that money that I'd be normally spending going out for coffee every day. I'm not saying don't go out for a coffee because it's a great way to spend the morning with your family and friends. But let's face it. The fact is, over the past year, we've not been able to go out as much as we liked, but we still like that wonderful taste, and we like to bring that luxury into our homes. When I asked Jane at home, I said, what is it about a coffee that you like? And she said, well, it's me time. It's when I get to sit down, I have that cup of coffee. It's got to be right, because you only get those times in the day to sit down to yourself um, very few times if you're busy. So you want that time to be your luxury time, and you want that time to give you the coffee and the taste that you deserve. It's only right, isn't it? Yeah. We have got the full professional uh, system here for you, but you can use this in your home. It's a wonderful deal. It really is. You're getting your coffee machine. You can make two coffees at the same time. You've also got the ability to, to make your milk and put the steam into your milk with that professional jug as well that's been designed by a world-winning um, barista. That's normally worth $39.99. We'll talk about that. You get your tamper as well for compressing the coffee. That's really important. The grinder, it's how you grind the coffee. That's also very, very important. And we've got a world-class, if not top-class, grinder available for you. These are available separately, but it's all about that bundle and making that saving. Two travel mugs for you as well. So if you do have to drive to work or maybe go on a walk, lots of people taking uh, their reusable coffee cups, which is really important as well. Um, I must say that when I do go and get my coffee, um, I do take a reusable mug. But there's a lot of people out there that go and get that mug and, you know, got to think about the environment. <laughs> also, in this particular deal, you're getting one of each of the coffee flavours, so you get to uh, try them. These are the whole beans, so you're going to be able to um, open these up, smell that aroma, then put them into your coffee grinder and start to make that beautiful, flavoursome coffee. Your first payment of £333.31 today, you can divide the cost over three payments. We do know that it's a considerable purchase. And you might be talking to family members now. You might even be calling them up saying, I've just seen this wonderful machine. It's on Hochanda. Shall I go for it? Well, we've got Steve with us. Why should somebody consider this today, Steve? Well, firstly, it's such a wow deal. Yeah. You know, they've really kind of put the thumb screws on me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we but certainly have. <laughs> you definitely have. But I have to say, it is an amazing kit. You know, you've got everything there you, you need, apart from water and milk. Yeah. And that's all you need. You take it home, out the box, it's there. It's yeah. just literally plug it in and you're ready to go. 
Um, I'll talk to you about the machine, because there's a little bit more about the machine Please, that makes yeah. it stand, stand on its own um, in this market. As I said earlier on, the machine itself is great for beginners, mm -hmm. right the way through to the vastly experienced. And the reason being, you have on the front here two very, very intuitive little dials. The first one here, and if I get the coffee right when I make it in a minute, we'll see, gives you or gives you the pressure you're actually using for the coffee to make sure that you've honed your tamping and grinding skills to the right level. Okay. The next one here is to do with the milk temperature. So again, when you're frothing your milk, it's vitally important you start with as cold a milk as possible straight from the fridge. This will allow you to get it to the right temperature because a lot of baristas will always hold it in the palm of their hand yeah. and actually feel that milk and okay. that, that temperature. And this will help because actually on here it's got a built-in temperature probe. Okay. Water tank, as we talked about earlier on, you've got a water gauge here. There's two ways you can fill the water tank. You've actually got the water tank at the back pulls out completely. If Janice can demonstrate, because mine's full of water, it's difficult at this angle. There you go. So that pulls so just out straight out the back. Straight out the back that? like that. Yeah. So there's just, that's a monster of a water tank. Like for a fish tank really it is. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure I don't want to put fish in it. You no, don't see them very much. Please don't put your fish in here, please. Don't. But you'll see you've got your maximum mark on the side, so you'll know exactly how to fill this up. Yeah. And it's easy to clean as well. It's easy to pull out. It's easy to pull out from the back. But having said when I when I say it's easy to pull out. It's it's also very, very secure as well in the back. It is exceptionally yes. secure. And on the top, you've also got a second aspect here on the top of the machine. In the central part of the unit here, you can actually fill the water tank here as well. Perfect. Yes. So, so, you've, so you've got two options there to fill yeah, it. The majority it of the time, my office, we just fill it straight from there. Yeah, it's, it's a lot easier. The only time you need to take it out of the back, I guess, Steve, is when you're cleaning it. Yeah, yeah, if you get it, and cleaning on these is a dollar. It's a D scale, the same as you would any other coffee machine. Yeah. Um, now, you've got two storage areas here as well, because the machine comes complete with a single basket and also a cleaning disc. Okay. Here. And the cleaning disc is, again, it allows you to what they call back flush. So all you would do for something like that is you pop your clean disc in there, put it in there, let it run for about 10 seconds and what it does it pushes water back into the top of the machine to clean the head. Perfect. So again it gives you a really clean coffee the yeah. next time yeah, you're using it. Yeah, it's very easy to clean isn't it? Very it's easy. brilliant. They're fantastic machines. They really are. They're that good even my son uses it and he's eight. Wow. So Josh uses it. Um, I haven't got uh, our other two, Charlotte and Tilly, on it yet, but Charlotte's only five, so I'll kind of let her off on that one. Do you know, it'd be really impressive if you said that Bear was using it. Yes, uh, that would be impressive, yeah. yes. Shall we tell everyone at home who Bear is? Yes, uh, we've got two um, labra, labra cockers. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you had the pleasure of being attached by Bear, she, or loved to death by Bear loved the other death, day. Yeah, she was yes. absolutely beautiful. Socially distancing, of course, but yes. how can you do I that? I don't think Bear dog? understands social no. distancing. No. no. Um, no. Should we make a coffee? Should we show everyone? Yes, at home? yes, yes, of course. Easy yes. This it's a shame is. you can't get Josh in, actually, because he'd be great at this. Yeah. <laughs> So the grinder is easy to use. Again, you've got that light there, so it's going to look impressive. You can buy the grinder separately if you want to. It's a professional grinder, and it's £250. And it really does make a difference how you grind your coffee. And you can have it coarse, and you can have it extra fine as well. Yeah. Now, also, for anybody that likes baking at home, mm. you know where I'm going with Yes. <laughs> coffee cake. Even cooking. People put coffee in very well, and quite unusual food spaghetti bolognese yeah with steak lots of different things put it in chili as well yes exactly yeah, yeah. and on the garden and on the garden yes. to keep the cats away sorry yeah. for cat lovers out there but yes yeah. i've got dogs that do that yeah. that's fine <laughs> <laughs> So we're pressing the coffee now with the tamper. You get yes. that included. That's also important. You might have seen that in your coffee shops when you go in and see your barista so and again you're looking that in at 45 degrees Okay, so while that's that's ready, we're going to do two. We're going to do two different drinks at the same time. So we're going to do an espresso-based drink first. Yep. At the same time as doing the espresso, I'm going to get some milk in here. Okay. So I'm going to use the World Barista Champion style jug. I think it's fantastic. You can do two coffees at the same time. So what I'm just done there is just purge the machine to make sure there's no condensation in the actual nozzle itself. Yep. So again, I'm just going to tilt that, so we're frothing the milk, we're just listening for that, as Jason says, that the kissing sound, the kissing yes. sound. and it really is, if you actually get this home, it's yeah. brilliant. 
God knows what he was up to in his younger days. <laughs> now, I've seen um, baristas in the coffee shops, they tap the milk jug afterwards. Is there any particular reason we need to do that or not? Yes, to? there is. It's, if you look at the, the, the mess I've made of the milk now, I'll use that as a... Okay, so, now you can see there's lots of air bubbles, and what you don't want in your coffee is the yeah. air bubbles. Okay. Okay, so what we do there is give it a good... tap and you can start to see the air bubbles are starting to go away Perfect. and when we're ready to pour the coffee you give it a good swirl around here and what you're doing is actually polishing off the milk and we'll do the same with the espresso in a second but while that's doing that we're going to just use the hot water yes. on this to do an americano ah, now the hot water uh, we don't recommend you making tea with it but it's no, perfect it's... for your extra water for your americano yeah now there's a lot of purists out there there's lots of ideas of how you do an americano yep. Normally I would do an Americano on these machines with the hot water and then the coffee on yeah. top, but it's really down to you. In this instance, because I've made two espressos at the same time, look at that crema, it's beautiful. Now that's important, isn't it? The coffee crema, yeah. very, very important. And that gives you an indication of not only the quality of the coffee, but the quality of the machine that you're using. It does, you know, there's a lot of, dare I say, capsule machines that fake a crema. Yes. They spin the capsule yeah. or they um, fill it full of air yeah. to get the crema. This is a pure, natural crema yeah. that you will only get through a quality machine. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, as I say, I will try. I'm no good at latte out, but I will do my best. Oh, hang on. There you go. So you can see there you've got a lovely white top on there. Not the best drawing in the world. But well, that, that, that is nice and practice. easy. That yeah. will come with practice. And uh, it'd be really exciting, actually, if any of you um, get this home and start to do that artistry on the top of your coffee. But it's all about it. that flavour, isn't it? And it's all about the aroma um, when you're making your coffee. It's inviting, isn't it, uh, to set your coffee stall up, as it were, in your kitchen and to start to make that coffee. First of all, you get that aroma from grinding the beans instantly. It's absolutely adorable. And then, of course, transferring that to the cup and it's going to be the coffee how you want it to be and you can make the same coffee day in day out or you can experiment by adding more milk maybe just having an espresso if you want to or if it's an after dinner drink maybe adding some alcohol dare I say to your coffee some syrups to your coffee as well you might have a certain flavored syrup that you want to add um, then you've got that opportunity as well the top of the machine can also keep your cups warm. It is. I mean, it's. Imagine your Sunday dinner with that with cold plates. Yeah, that's not good. No, no, it's not. That's not good. Coffee should be served warm. Yep. The hotter the cup, without boiling them, mm -hmm. but you know, the warmer the cup, the longer that's going to stay hot. It's common yeah. sense. Yeah. What we often do in my office, it can be very, very cold. So very frequently, we all, if we're making a coffee for someone, just put some hot water in it. Yeah, just swill it. And around. that's another use for that that yeah. this part of the machine. Um, but again, while you're doing hot water, please do remind you can actually steam as well. Yeah. So you can, much as us guys can't do two things at once, we're not very good <laughs> at multitasking, we can do. Yeah, you certainly can. I think that's fantastic as well because it doesn't delay that coffee getting to the table. It doesn't delay that coffee getting to your lips, does it? Because you can do the milk and the coffee at the same time. If you like yeah. coffee black and you don't want milk, then that's fine. If you like your different style milks, maybe your almond milk or your soya milk, for example, when you go to the supermarkets, just look for the barista style almond milk, the barista style soya milk. That's really important. It's all to do with the science of the milk and how that produces the coffee. Now, Catherine has emailed in. Is it our Catherine? Oh, <laughs> our Hi, Catherine. Catherine. Now, this machine actually has converted uh, Catherine into coffee. She's never a coffee drinker, uh, but having the right machine, it can change everything for you. But Catherine would like to know about the hot chocolate. Do we have any hot chocolate available? Or could we make hot chocolate oh, with this very machine? very easily. You get a nice quality hot chocolate, mm. and all you do is put a couple of spoons into the milk jug, phone the milk, and you get an absolutely delicious hot chocolate. Wow. Is it you know, like you go to St. Mark Square? Yep and you're sitting there watching the world go by and you've got your big mug of hot chocolate with a couple of marshmallows on top. Wow, That's what it is. Yeah. It's just as beautiful as that. Because you've got everything there that's needed. You know, you've got perfect amount of food and you've got using high quality milk 
but also good quality chocolate. Now, if there's anyone out there who is a, a coffee connoisseur and they know their machines, for example, can we talk about the bar pressure? Because that's important as well when you're making coffee and machines. Yeah, the bar pressure on these um, runs 15% uh, on extract, 15 bar extraction. Yeah. Um, and so you get, as you can see here, the needle's just moving up. So I've just slightly under extracted that, but it's about your balance of tamping. Yes. So it's a combination of getting the grind right, yep. the pressure you're putting when you're tamping down, yes. and obviously the machine itself. You get that combination right and yeah, you'll get a fantastic coffee, but even if you don't get it perfect, you know, you still get a beautiful espresso. Yeah. So you don't have to be a perfectionist with these machines. Yeah. They do a lot of the work for you. Yeah. It's just allowing you just to perfect your skills as and when you develop them. Yeah. And you don't have to become an expert barista in your kitchen. You just have to stand in front of the machine. It's going to make it easy for you. But it's about that flavour. It's about that taste. It's about the quality of coffee that you'll be making in the comfort of your own home. Again, going out for coffee, it's wonderful. Of course it is. Mixing with your family and friends, going out for a coffee, going out for a walk. Jane and I do it. We could take Millie for a walk. We walk two miles, we'll have a coffee and we'll come on back. Uh, but then I've got to walk two miles back there to get that particular coffee or I drive to the supermarket that we have in the village and they have one of those coffee machines. In fact, I get one every day when I drive, uh, before I drive to work just to perk me up. But now I can make and create those coffees in the comfort of my own home, but it's the taste and the flavour. I don't like instant coffee, I never have. For me, that's not coffee, not really. It's a bit dishwatery. And I'm not <laughs> dishing, well I have, I've just done it live on air, sorry. I can't disagree with um, you on it at but all. But I, I don't like instant coffee. It doesn't, I, I don't feel right when I've had it. So I, li I like strong coffee. I like strong coffee and I like the right coffee. And that's really important. That makes a difference to my day. And as Jane said, you know, her day, it's all about that sitting down. It's that time which is invaluable to you. It's that time when you get to sit down and you want a decent cup of coffee. You want the best cup of coffee. You want that luxurious cup of coffee that's going to give you the same taste time and time again. One thing I will say, when you get a machine and a system like this in your home, when people can, they'll all be knocking on your door again, that's for sure, won't they? Machines like this are great because, you know, when you get visitors in, the first thing they do is walk in the kitchen. It's a great social hub. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It's the first thing they say, oh, my God, what is it? How, how does it work? Oh, is it difficult? Is it co This is one, honestly, it's one of the easiest coffee machines I've yeah. ever used. Yeah. I've been in the industry 17 years. Yeah, and you've made it look very, very easy. And I've had a try with so. it. I've made a coffee with it. It is easy. One of the things I was thinking of when I first had a go with this machine, I was thinking, right, getting the coffee in, but that is easy. so easy, isn't it? Yeah, the machine does it all for you, really, because it does guide you when to stop. It, you know, you've got a single cup, a double cup option. You've got your program. You can also manually override it, so you can do a longer extraction if you wanted to. If you want to do something like a Lungo, which is a longer extracted coffee, you just press the manual pour. And when we say extracted coffee, that's the water going through, through the coffee. Through the coffee, yes, yeah. exactly that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and as I say, these are so, so easy to use. And I'm not kidding him. My son, Josh, is nine next this coming weekend. So happy birthday, Josh. Oh, happy um, birthday, Josh. <laughs> um, so he is, he's been using this for about two and two years or so. Yeah. Um, and, you know, most of the time he makes a really good coffee Fantastic. when he's not distracted by his iPod oh. or something like that. Um, talking about birthdays, by the way, of course, birthdays have cake. Um, I just want to say thank you to Jerry um, because uh, Jerry made a wonderful coffee walnut cake. So thank you very much. And Jerry is, of course, your mum. My mum. Yeah. Yep. So and, uh, big shout out to Jerry and thank you very, very much. Um, coffee walnut cake, of course. It's my favourite, isn't it? Uh, because coffee is my favourite as well. Right, let's talk you through that deal. You are getting your machine. You can buy this separately if you want to, but you're making that saving of by going for the machine, the professional uh, milk jug right there that has been designed by world class world winning baristas it does make a difference it really really does alone that's 39.99 you've got your grinder as well now am i right in saying there are 30 different grinding grind settings on as this minimum. one as yes. a minimum yes wow. you've actually got uh, positions in between the grinder and you can reset the grinder 
to be even more of a finesse. That's incredible and it does make a difference how you grind your coffee. It's very, very important. You've got your two travel mugs and you've got your flavours of the coffees. You can go for the coffees separately if you want to. We've got decaf available for you as well. Do go have a look on the website. You can get four of the same if you're going for the coffee separately or you can get one of each flavour. With the deal that we've got for you, you're getting one of each flavour. If you do want to go for more coffee, if you want to stock up, it's on FlexiBuy, you can do. Uh, Steve, thank you so much. Much That's right. Pleasure. For taking Absolute the journey pleasure. over here tonight. Yeah. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed it, as you can tell. Uh, I've been, I'm going to have another one before I leave. I shall make it myself, though, because we are aware of social distancing here at Hochanda. Um, I'm sorry I can't give you a big hug. I'd love I know. to. We'll do a virtual one. We'll do a virtual <laughs> hug. Uh, but it's been it's been fascinating, and it's been an education as well. It is a considerable purchase, but do consider it as well, and do check out your basket. And when you do get it home, enjoy your coffee. Cheers, Steve. Thank you very much, Cheers. and keep Thank watching Hochanda. Could be buzzing on the way home now. Brilliant. Uh, Sentimentally Yours One Day Special is coming up next. Chocolate Baroque after that. And we head into the early hours with Pink Ink Designs. Enjoy your evening, everyone. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now, simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember, it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family-run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire and what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our Chanda, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter here at Achanda. 
I got into crafting years ago. Ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job. I love the presenting side because I get to meet loads of really inspirational people. And that's just the beauty of this. There's always something new to learn. There's always something that you want to get into. It's fabulous. My Let Leone Lou show on Achanda is also fantastic. It's my weekly highlight. I get to work with loads of really cool brands, loads of fantastic products, and again, I'm always learning. And I do get loads of wonderful viewers getting in touch as well, which is obviously a highlight of our job. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. everyone it's your one day special second live hour but the third live hour in a row for our fabulous Julia Watts yes running a marathon of shows and it's always lovely to have your company how are you doing Julia I'm all right <laughs> how you're holding up I'm while sitting right. down I'm getting a bit hungry <laughs> Are you? <laughs> oh, bless you. Do you know what? It's lovely to have you here at Hochanda. You are very, very inspirational. Thank you. It's, it's great to be here. Yeah, and, and it's wonderful to work with you because you're always coming up with new ideas and new ways and also taking us down memory lane perhaps to some old ways of stamping mm. and just reinventing the way that you, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just <laughs> so excited to be working with you. That's all right. I'm happy to be with you again. Oh, do you know what? We were so busy for the one day special earlier on. Is there any hundreds. Left? Well, there is some left, yes, but hundreds upon hundreds of you managed to get hold of the deal. Literally, it was that busy. Right, if you have just joined us, let's talk you through what you're getting so you can pop it into your basket. We had people multi buying because, let's face it, this is going to make a great gift for any Christmas present. So. Saving five pounds on that one day special price. 19 pounds and 98 pence. Let's start with the magazine. Oh my goodness. This is the fourth edition. It's a box set. So it comes to you perfectly boxed. So it's a great way of sending this gift in the post if you need to. But with the magazine, you have so much inspiration in there. It's a 68 page magazine. You've got your 39 piece stamp set, your five piece die set, your A6 background sentiment stamp as well. You also get 30 paper designs within your magazine, your fireworks scene embossing folder and 47 coordinating toppers. Along with that you get a stamp. Let me just take that. Sorry about that. There you go. I know you probably got that on a close up but I've just gone straight in and picked it up for you. Um, those are your stamps but you're also getting uh, that Fabulous stamp set, which is exclusive to you guys here at Hochanda. You can't buy it anywhere else. It's not the one we're looking at at the moment, but we will be looking at that one in a second. So there is a special stamp set that you can only get if you're buying the one day special from us here at Hochanda. You will not be able to buy that anywhere else. It will not be available to anyone else designed by Phil Martin. And over 50%, over 60% of the stock has gone. It's an amazing deal. It it really, really is. Um, Julia, full of inspiration, the magazine. I know yep. you love it, and it is a fabulous way to sit down and craft. But to get all of the extras as well within that box set, it's amazing, isn't it? It's tremendous value. It really is. And I know we say that every single time we bring out a box kit, because they are. All the box kits are tremendous yep. value. Um, I mean, the, the stamp alone is worth, the, the exclusive stamp is worth 11 99 yeah, it is. I'm just trying to find where we've got the... So we, uh, I mean, we've got what we... It, it's... Uh, I can't even add up. 12. So you're only paying... You're paying just less than £8 for the magazine with all the bits in it. 
my word. Aren't you? That's well, what you're paying. Do you know, it's superb value for money. And when you see that it comes boxed up, you can send this very, very easily in the post. Yeah. Um, it's a wrappable gift. It's a giftable gift as well. And it can be a, a collect... Well, it is. It's a collector's item and people, people do, do that. collect them. They absolutely yeah. do. And, and, they, and they have more than one. Yeah. You've got the stamp right there. Would you mind showing everyone at home the stamp that you are getting? I just want everyone at yep. home to see the stamp. It's just at the what side of Julia. Um, yes, you can show it as stamped out. This is exclusive to you guys here at Hochanda. We won't be able to get that anywhere else, will no, we? No, you can't get this anywhere else. Are we, on, are we doing the overhead then? <laughs> so there we go. There's, there's Wiggle It. Uh, he's coming in.